Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and welcome to this stream that I'm starting a little bit early because why shouldn't I, frankly? Um, I'm just tired of waiting, basically. Um, yeah, so we're just going to be playing a little bit of the uh, latest update to Super Mario Maker 2. And when I say a bit, I'm going to be doing the stream as long as I fancy, basically. As long as you lot uh, are here and having a good time, I plan on hanging around at least for at least for as long as I can talk at the very least. So anyway, um, before we get uh, any further into it, we uh, we do have a, a moderator in the chat who's going to be making sure that you all... Make sure, that, make sure that you're all behaving properly because I can I know what you can be like. Nah, most of you are absolutely lovely. But um, yes, we are going to do it. But um, before that, I am going to show you because I've seen a number of people in the chat saying, is the update out? How do I update and stuff like that? So really quickly, if you want to update the game, you just press plus on Super Mario Maker 2. <laughs> My controller's disconnected. <laughs> this is the problem when you... um. You prepare too much in advance. Um, is that too much in the way? No, that's all right. Um, so yes, I'm using this controller. This is an 8-bit do controller that I like a lot because it's got a big D-pad on it, which is uh, good for Mario stuff. Um, and so you just press plus on it, and then you go down to software update and select via the internet. And it's just going to tell me that I'm using the latest version of the software, which is Fandabby Dozy, because I've already got the update. Um, and you just do that. It's simple pimple. And I'm uh, going to start the game now, I suppose. I might turn this up a bit because I can't really hear it. Hang on a tick. Yeah, there's a tiny plant in the way. Oh, no, it's still a bit quiet. Is that new? I'm guessing it. Oh, this is probably the new intro. There are the Kooplings. There. <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2. Spicy gubbins. Um, that's a good volume, actually. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know in the uh, chat. Ask me some questions and stuff like that. I will have, um, as I say, got a moderator in there at the moment called uh, Paul. He is excellent, and he has very kindly agreed to uh, help out with the stream at not even the last minute. I literally I just saw him in the chat, and I was like, Paul, do you want to be a mod? And he was like, yeah, sure. Which is um, very good of him. Is this a new demo level? I don't even know. It's been so long since I've played Mario Maker, to be brutally honest with you. I fired it up very briefly yesterday to make sure that I hadn't forgotten anything uh, mental or really important, and uh, hopefully I haven't. Um, oh, Sans633 has asked, Alex, do you have a cat? Yes and no. I do have a cat, in a sense. Um, te technically, my partner's cat uh, called Bindi. Uh, the cat, not the partner. My partner's called Sasha. Um, and it's Sasha's cat called Bindi. But um, she doesn't live with us at the moment. She was due to move in because obviously we've moved into this uh, new place. Oh, hang on. No, I'm going to have to go to... I don't. Need, I have no idea where this thing is. I'm going to go into make. Oh, there are new parts to play with. <gasps> I know. It turns out I didn't even download... I didn't even look at the... Um, the previous update. But yeah, she was due to move in with us into the new place that I'm currently living in, uh, which is the house that we bought, which is still mental. Um, but sadly, she can't because of this whole self-isolation business, um, which is a shame. Um, and it's uh, we were kind of waiting to make sure the, the kitchen was done and everything. Oh, that's it. World Bart. World Bart. Oh, hang on. World Maker. My Super Worlds. Oh, this is World Boy. From here you can uh, play the Super Worlds you create in World Maker and upload them to Gorse World. Splendid. Oh, actually, um, how's the, uh, I'm just going to make sure the computer isn't too loud. It's pretty good, actually. This is going weirdly, uh, easily. I'm a little bit worried. Um, oh, uh, Tugi McJarrow has asked, Alex, how have you been lately? I've been very well, thank you. I've just had a week off, and it's nice to get back to work. Uh, and it was originally supposed to be a week away. Obviously, that didn't happen, did it? Um, uh, where was the There was another one I wanted to answer. Are you based in the UK? Yes. That was asked by Osh. Osh. Uh, make new super world. So it is just... Oh, so you can have six, you can have six worlds. That's more than I expected, to be honest. I'm sure there are some people who play this religiously who will want more than six worlds, but, you know, this is... 
Still, six sounds bonkers to me. Uh, with this new update, you can make your own super worlds, which are a collection of up to eight individual worlds. Okay, so it is super world. Maybe I should change, maybe I should change. Shall I change the stream title? Alex Smells says Chili Pingu 57 Kidding, I love your content, you're great. No, you're wrong, I smell. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Um, let's change the title very briefly. Let's build a super world. You know what, I'm, I'm going to put super in capitals because why not? Because why blooming not? Oh, uh, Ar Arjan528. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Maybe I am? I'm not sure. Hi, I remember meeting you at EGX 2018. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. I ha feel like I haven't been to EGX in a long time. It's been... Well, I went last year, didn't I? Yeah, of course I did. It was just in a different location. Uh, keep in mind that you need to set a course in the castle, uh, uh, in the castle spot for each world to work. Okay, I know exactly what I'm going to put there. Yeah, uh, thingies, uh, world bot, one super world uploaded at a time, but you can contain up to... Okay, so you can only upload one world. Which is a strange limitation, but at the same time, I don't... So we go here, let's, um... <laughs> I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of, um, courses, haven't I? I did think maybe I should make some more in advance. Instead, I played Animal Crossing last night. <laughs> but we'll make it work somehow. So there we go. We've got a... We've got a... I've... Have I lost the controls? Oh, there we go. Completely forgotten the controls. Um, okay, so it looks like the worlds are only going to be a single screen. And... So we get some bridges and stuff like that. Have some raised areas. We can have that there. Oh, oh they joined together like that. Okay, so it's fairly... Fairly simple. Oh, you can't have two raised lands between uh, one in front of the other. That's odd. And that connects that up. Hmm. Strange. Just strange the way that they've done things. <laughs> People are saying they like car. You know, I'll put car in a level. I don't even know if it can be beaten, to be honest. Oh, you can rotate those round. You can do this. You do warp pipes. Hang on. So four. Does that mean you can have... Five levels per thing. Okay. Um, so let's have... I don't think I ever finished that level. Where's... I thought I did another level. Or was it... Oh. It might have been on the other version of the game I have, which I had for review. Because, yeah, for some reason, um, I got a different version of the game when I was reviewing it. And then they were just like, Ah, oh, you'll get the full game on the day. And it's like, that's great, but... All the courses I've made are going to disappear, and they were like, yeah, sorry about that. It's fine. It's fine. But, you know, at the same time, I want that course back. Let's have a look. Alex, play card. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's make this uh, course. Oh, no, that's the ang Angry Wiggler Monorail. Let's make the first course. <gasps> you can make it water. Oh, what am I doing? I've got to go up here, haven't I? Cool. You can tell I haven't played this yet. So let's, uh, let's have a car. I think I just needed some footage or something. Um, and let's put the spiky pipe... Uh, but spiky spiky pipe... Sp the spiky pipe plaza or something? Power up... That's probably power up showcase. That's probably something else I did for... Hang on, I just... I, I do just want to check really briefly that this isn't the wrong version of the game I've updated because... No, no, it, it wouldn't have updated, would it? I'm just going to double check because that would be so embarrassing and silly. Um, if I even have the other version of the game on it. Oh, there it is. Um, version 1.0. No, that's going to be, that's going to be the review version. That makes more sense. Okay, so we'll just, um, so that, that's a very basic world. Um, oh, oh, we're raising. Ah. You know what? I'm going to replace the Angry Wiggler monorail with... <gasps> Can I have an... Oh, I don't know. You know what I can do? I can have a... Um, let's get a little bit of a watery thing going across there. And then... There we go. Ah, it automatically joins up. So let's get a... In fact, let's put it there. That makes more sense. I'm going to put the Angry Wiggler monorail there. God, I can't believe I made so few things in this game. So few. This version of the game, at least. 
Um, is that going to work? No, that's not going to work because this needs to be a T junction now. So let's just remove that. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. Now let's um, slap the angry wig on the rail back down. There. Um, can you change what these? Ah, you can. Ball. Ball. Let's see what ball is. And let's see what the, the P is as well. Let's have a look at what's going on in chat. People are saying they've got to go to bed. That's fair enough. It's late in some places, not here. It's quite early. Um, <laughs> rumor, the, rumor has it the final boss of New Horizons is capitalism. Hunter Saddington, I think I agree. Right, so let's, um, I suppose, play it. Is it a simple? Hang on. So hang on. We go into... Oh, we can change the theme. Of course we can. So world, world themed lives. You can change the number of lives! <laughs> I wonder whether he gets happier if you go to a ridiculous number of lives. Oh! He's just looking up! That's weirdly charming. Let's um, keep it at... Let's keep it at eight. No, what is it? Three lives is the standard. There we go. So let's change the theme as well to... A space! <laughs> because World 1 is always space-themed. Um, okay, let's... Here I go. I'm playing as Toadette. Oh, there's a little cloud and everything. Um, so, ah, you can't see what the Toad houses are. That's interesting. So, here we are. We are playing... Car. <laughs> I can't even remember if you can beat this. Honestly, I genuinely can't remember if you can beat this. It's just got a it's just got a Cooper in a car. I think I just needed some footage. And there's like Bowser and stuff. There we go. It's Meowser. I don't think I can beat this level. I think it is <laughs> I think I designed it simply to be a sort of a showcase thing. What happens if I press minus? Uh, start over. Clear course and exit. There we go. Well done. Well done, Alex. You beat Car. So yeah, apologies if um, Car didn't live up to your lofty expectations, but... <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Catch and win. Ooh. This is... Ooh, fork ball. Ooh. Heater. Knuckle ball. What? I don't know any of these terminologies. Change up. Ah! Oh, you little... Oh, I see. You've got to protect the... You've got to protect the thingy. Three up. I'll take that. That's a fun little thing. I like that. I like that it's not just the, um, the matching game constantly. Because that would be a little... Little dull. I would like to issue a congratulations to Alex for beating Carr, says uh, Tugi McJarro. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, this is an actual level I made ages ago. Um, and I'm pretty certain there is a secret, actually, isn't there? But um, I'm not going to show it off because uh, I'll, if people want, I'll put the, uh, the code up so that you can play it. I'm going to grab those coins because why not? Oh, pop. And so, yeah, this is the Angry Wiggler monorail. It's it's not crazy, crazy special, but it's I'm still relatively pleased, and that's a very basic contraption that could be arguably a lot simpler. And it's not just because um, I made it very early on before a load of the tech and everything was properly realised when it comes to making contraptions and stuff in Super Mario Maker. And I seem to remember that box is just a coin, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is one of those levels that I thought, hey, this would be really good in multiplayer. It really isn't. It doesn't even work slightly. Ooh. Come here. Come here. I don't remember that contraption being like that. Is that... I might have played around with a different contraption at some point, and that's a hangover from that. Really isn't important. The important thing is I've got the cape feather, so this is now a lot easier. 
Or is it because... Oh no, it's because this changes things... There we go. Like that. And usually, they can block you from going through and you have to go underneath them. And here's a little, little, little bonus challenge at the end. I don't know why I'm showing you this level. This is not terribly impressive. Although that final jump was. I can't, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Come on, the mountain theme was needed. I don't count the Super Mario World Desert, says Bloxed. I uh, the mountain theme. I mean, it, it kind of, the desert is kind of that, isn't it? And I understand it's not exactly the same, but even so. There has to be a consistency between pop and win. I think this controller does have a turbo function, but... Hey! Three up. Again, nice little... Just nice, nice little bonus thing. Simple. I can't remember what this is. Did I... I don't think I ever beat this. Ever. Spiky Pipe Pest Control. Hunter Saddington says we need a Super Mario Dance Dance Revolution theme. There was actually a game. Um, uh, Mario Dance Revolution or Mario Dance Party. No, that doesn't sound right. Um, Joey Scullion says, Hi, Lex. Alex. Um, just doing homework whilst watching this. I'm a big fan. Thank you very much. Oh, you did mean Alex. I just seen that's neat. Thank you very much. Uh, make sure you do focus on your homework. It's more important than this stream. Way! I really don't remember whether this whether this level is finished. I, I'm pretty certain this level isn't finished, but I can't remember whether it's even completable. There's a lot of fish flying around, and a lot of fish coming out of pipes. I seem to remember there is something up here, but it may just be coins. It is. It's just a big ten coin, which means it ain't worth it. Whoa! I don't remember spawning one there. That's a bit rude. That, however, is not rude in the slightest. I will take a super mushroom any day of the week. Let's go down here. Wee, wee. Oh, I think you can do that properly. <laughs> I did not finish this level, did I? <laughs> oh, come on, Toadette. Let's get to the end. I could have done so much more preparation for this stream. But Nintendo didn't exactly give me a lot of time to prepare because they blimmin' released this at a moment's notice. Is it me or is it easier to jump out of the water now? It might just be because I'm seeing Super Mario Bros. 3 and I'm expecting Super Mario Bros. 3's weird way of doing it. Is this Fish Splish Mario Maker Edition? It should be. It should be. That was the last stream I did, I think. Maybe. That's crackers. Um, are the worlds created by Nintendo with the new, um, are there a world created by Nintendo with a new update? Not as far as I know. I will have a proper look later on. Um, that was, um, that was Gabrielle Piatti. Sorry for the pronunciation there. Magic Emperor says, Alex, would you rather keep a pet cheap cheap in a bowl or a chain, or a chain chomp on your yard? This is a level that actually works. Um, I don't know which I'd rather have to be brutally honest with you. Uh, probably a cheap cheap actually because they don't always attack. So this is actually this is a level I'm weirdly weirdly proud of actually because it's um it's functioning and I've already made a pig's ear of it. It's been a long time since I've played Super Mario Maker. So the idea of this is come on, thwomp. It's essentially a boss rush, which is why I thought it had to be you know at the end. Come on, thwomp. Pop! There we go. There is actually a secret boss, which, um... Should I do? Oh, I don't know. I've got to say I love this music. You know what? I'm, um, should I do the secret boss? Let me know in chat. This is the whole point of having chat. You can tell me. Um, hey, Alexani, please play one of my levels. You know what? I think I might, if I can remember. Um, the only thing is the chat moves, and I'm in the middle of a level. Um, but I tell you what, yeah, chat, you you tell me. Uh, there's going to be a bit of a delay. Should I do the secret boss? I'm seeing yes, do it. Yes. Oh, yes. Benny Boy UK says, Hi, Alex, do you know uh, whether the update has done anything to fix the multiplayer lag? No idea. People are saying do the secret boss and everything. Okay, so let's do it. Um, the only thing is, the secret boss... Ooh, now I think about it, I can't do the secret boss without doing this one first. And there's a very... Um, good reason for it. 
take that. Ah, oh, this is back when I used all those. Take that. Pom pom. Pom pom's the one with the key. You can tell that because she's big. So I've got the key, so now I go through all this and go through here. And now I'll get the power up that I need. So this is the thing, the, the secret boss, I'm actually weirdly proud of the secret boss setup. Um, that's, there are doors there for a reason as well. Um, yeah, I'm, oh God, everyone's just saying secret boss, secret boss. Don't worry, I'm going to do the secret boss. I'm going to do it now. That's the secret boss. Simple as that. Well, that's not it. But that's where you find it. Come on now. And who's it going to be? But Meowser, of course. And this is actually... Not the easiest boss I've ever created. It's not mega hard. It's only Meowser at the end of the day. But it's still... Ah, you know, Meowser's surprisingly tough. When he wants to be. And I've had... Uh, I did actually have a number of... Not complaints, but people... Yeah, giving feedback saying it was too easy. Because there are an inf infinite number of power-ups. But you need the power-ups in order to defeat him. So I don't think it's unreasonable. I've made them harder to get. Because you have to go up the top and everything. And also, I wanted it to be... Fun and completable, not... Impossible. It's a secret boss. It's meant to be... Sort of like a challenge, but at the same time, fun. And that's always the mantra I've used when it comes to Super Mario Maker. Hey, I got him. So like I say, it's not that mega hard, but he can surprise you. So that's the secret uh, boss. And here we go. Oh, I missed all the coins. And I believe the secret boss allows you to just go straight to... Yes, of course it does, because it takes you through a separate way. There we go. Wabow! More coins. I had to do that because of the way that the worlds work. And you get a load of coins at the end. You get a one-up. It's just, you know, it's fun. I like adding secrets and things. Surprisingly hard to do. Well, to do right. It's got to be just difficult enough for it to be a secret. Um, but just easy enough to... Oh, of course, I just played it. So it just ends. <laughs> well, let's save that. Save that. Why not? Oh, excuse me. There we go. But um, let's have a... Um, the audio and video is out of sync, says Bloxed. Hmm, let me have a look at my live feed, see if I can... Nothing seems to be wrong for me. Um, can anyone else um, uh, attest to that? Uh, whether there is actually an issue, whether it's just... No, Sapweed says not for me. I'm afraid I think it's on your end in that case. Um, oh, Hamza says same for me. It's not. Are there any secrets? Audio and video seem fine to me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to assume it's fine. Um, oh, I do like the underground theme. And they come with a little preset and everything. Set a course. <laughs> Can I, you can't repeat courses. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, people are saying it's fine. Okay. I'm always worried about streams and stuff like that because they're quite delicate things. Reset rocket. What happens if you use a reset rocket on this? Because it's already pre-built. Oh, it just produces an extremely basic thing. And I'm guessing you can then move those around and everything. The grids are pretty simple. Pretty small overall, but you know, does the job, doesn't it? You go there. Is it just the three? It's just the three. I am tempted to uh, give that a go though, so. Oh. What do you mean there's... I think there has to be a path to the end. <laughs> so let's quickly make one of those. Um, can you rotate that? No, okay. But you can... Oh, it just has to be placed somewhere. So if we just place that there, bingo bango. Here I go. Interesting way of doing it. Let's play this. I'm guessing it's just it's just the same, isn't it? It's just the same as Super Mario Bros. 3. Some people take real umbrage when I say bros. I'm going to continue to say... Oh, I wonder if it's actually proper. 
Oh, it actually works now instead of being slightly off. That's good. Is eight the maximum amount of worlds arcs, uh, asks Lucas? It is, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Um, it is just eight worlds. Oh, but you can shift them around. That's that's nice. That's the sort of feature that I would assume wouldn't be included. That sounds terrible. Um, it does look like you can't necessarily create a... That ice music, that's not from Super Mario World. Let me crank that up for you. What's it on now? Minus 14.2. I'm pretty, pretty certain. Yeah, there we go, 14.2. I'm pretty, pretty certain that that's from Super Mario Bros. 3? Not entirely sure about that, but that's pretty cool. Nice that they're sort of uh, bringing multiple different things in. So, um, yeah, the world builder. Actually, surprisingly simple. I mean, I don't, I'm, don't get me wrong, I still think it's great, but it's, um... Yeah, the fact that the screen doesn't scroll or anything, I mean, it doesn't really need to, I suppose, but yeah, it's it's nice. I'm curious to see if anyone's already made some. But um, before we do that, I tell you what, you, you let me know in the chat. Do you want to see whether somebody else has uploaded a world already, a super world? Or would you like to see um, me look at some of the new items? Just let me know in the chat. Go over there. Go on. Go on. The music is the theme when Annex enters a room. Yes, spooky, spooky. <laughs> um, so let's... I, I'm going to have to wait, unfortunately. Uh, someone just said yes. <laughs> Epic bowling champ. Yes. Very helpful. Um, it's actually surprisingly simple, says Steve... I mean, Lorenzo Fusco. <laughs> worlds. People are saying worlds. People have uploaded, says uh, Ellie uh, Valkunova. Apologies for pronunciation. So I suppose... Course world? I don't even know where you'd look, but I suppose course world. Oh, so we may delete uploaded courses, reset the table number of like blah 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 blah. Uh, the user intrusively. Yeah, cool, whatever. You can now play Super Worlds. Oh, yeah, it's down there in the corner. That's not a. <laughs> I know that's the one for that. That's the original sprite and animation. I suppose series of sprites. Oh, that's a handsome man. Those are the original sprites from Super Mario World, but that is not a. <laughs> that is not a flattering sprite for Peach, is it? Back in dear. I also believe... Whoa. Okay, so it's just some random worlds. That's kind of fun. Super... Can you rename? Or is it just the name? I suppose it'd just be your name, wouldn't it? Uh, Super Joel Parrot World. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Why don't you lot uh, let me know? Um, which one I should do. We'll say that this one here, the white planet, is number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So which one do you want? You can pick number between one and ten. The one that's highlighted right now is number one. So, uh, why don't we, why don't we have a mosey, eh? Why don't we have a mosey? Can I play together with people online? I could play with you lot. <gasps> that's actually really cool. Could do that. If it works online. If it works online. Space Jam 2, please. Space Jam 2. Is that that one? I don't know. Number three. People are saying number three, number three, number five, number five, number three. Lots of threes. Lots of threes. Okay, I'm going to go with number three. Just um, Super Kaito World. What happens if you go play together, does it? Oh, it's only offline. Can't play with you lot. Rats. I've just realised how um, seeing so many people... <laughs> so many people suggesting things. Oh, help. So this is going to be quite a large world, isn't it? What's a ninja? Yeah, because you can... They didn't mention this in the stream. Uh, the, the Sorry, the uh, the update video, but... Yeah, you can... Oh, no, that's just showing or hiding ninjas. Are those previous speedruns that people have done? Let's press A and find out. It's got a, you know, 195. People are still asking for number one. Um, and <laughs> number three. <laughs> but, um... Oh. Well, this is nice. And don't worry, we'll look at some of the uh, other stuff as well, the other features. 
I wonder if the, um, the ninja stuff... No, not there. Maybe it's if you go back and replay a, a level, maybe? I think I'm going to do entire things. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is fun. Oh, I like this. Follow the coins, Toadette. Follow the coins. Whoa. Oh, and now they've... This is a really well-made level. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh. Now we're moving over here. <laughs> That's really, really good. Simple, but very effective. Very effective. It's actually a fun water level. Who'd have thought it? Probably because it doesn't play on the water physics much. Oh, we're not over. We're not over, though. Give me, give me the mushroom. Give me the mushroom. Incidentally, um, if you do enjoy the stream, obviously I know we don't stream very much. Um, oh, same thing again. Uh, yeah, don't stream very much at all. Ugh. In fact, this is one of the first times I've streamed in probably about a year, to be honest. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Get him, get him! Get him. <laughs> this is a great level. If this is as good as the rest of the levels are in this world, we are laughing. <laughs> Useful Trash has donated $20 in as fast as this room scale. Well, thank you very much. Oh no, sorry, not 20, uh, DKK. I don't know what that is. Hang on, so if I go back through here, what's this going to do? DKK. I feel like I need to look that up now because I don't like not knowing currencies. Where's my phone? But thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's look this up. Because people should be acknowledged. Here we go. Oh, it is Danish Kroner. For some, re for some reason, I never remember. I never remember. Which um, European countries um, are on the... I like that. Uh, which European countries are on the Euro and which ones aren't. I just can't keep track. But thank you very much. So we've got unlocked two things now. So what happens if I... Can I do this again? I can... How does this work then? The No, don't quit playing. I pressed minus, not plus. Oh, catch and win. This would be really hard. I, I nearly did this stream. Oh, you little... I should listen. Gotta listen. Oh, no. Well, some people did complain that Super Mario Maker 2 wasn't weird enough. I hope that's weird enough for you now. <laughs> Lordy Lou. What little fortress. Little fortress. Oh. Donut diving too. Okay, so there's a theme going on. Oh, and we're in nighty time mode. Nighty time mode. AC says Donkey Kong's knackers. Excellent. I just wanted to say that out loud. <laughs> Um, Cosmic Key says, Hi Alex, how are you? Hope all, all is well on your end. Thank you very much. I'm doing well. I'm going to go in the second door because I'm mad. Oh, this feels faster. It might not be, but it feels faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get over there, Toadette. The amount of stuff going on is more distracting than anything. Good lord, this is a well-made level. This is so well-made. So clever. Really enjoying this. And I think this is... You know what I think this is going to do? The whole worlds thing. Um, is It's going to... So the, the doors are the same? What did happen then? Hmm, it's probably a reason. What I... Th ah, maybe multiplayer? Maybe? But uh, the thing that I think worlds are going to do more than anything is allow people to play good level after good level after good level over and over again. Which is brilliant. And something that's been a little bit difficult to do without just looking through a load of codes. 
So this allows people to have a much more substantial experience in Super Mario Maker 2, which is great. I am so down for that. Um, Sapweed says, so it's basically just the same mechanic. Yeah, it is. It's a different level, though, isn't it? Mario is made up of all the same mechanics. Oh, you can... That's a airship. I wonder if you fail whether you don't go on it. Probably not. Probably not. Um, Digital Dragon says, play Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. You know I can't beat the record on that. Why are you even asking? <laughs> I didn't see the name of this level. Although, given the... What's this? Donut Diving 3. So we've definitely got a theme going on. I'm assuming the entire... I should not have done that, should I? Or should I? I suppose I had a choice. Hmm. Different... Whoa! Oh, this... Ah, this feels different. It's fast. This is definitely uh, fast. I can move faster. So I'm guessing the obstacles are going to be a little bit more... Ah, ha, ha! A little less forgiving, and I think I might be right on that front. Hey, hey! God damn, this is good. This is good. Abigail Moss um, asks, um, have you had any pet birds? No. I love birds to, um, to pieces. I really do. But, ah, show you here. Show you. Another mod. Welcome. Morning, Alex. Morning, people in the chat. Let's show you. Um, I love birds. Um, always have done. But I uh, don't have a pet one. Have sort of helped one survive after being stunned, but that's about it. Um, that made me feel good. That was on holiday. Flew into the window, and uh, there was a cat nosing around nearby. And cats will do what cats do, but I made sure that that little bird was safe. Um, it was so stunned I was able to just pick it up with my hand, which I've not been able... Uh, what is it? I've not really done. Nice! Nice! I've not been able to do without it already being handled. Um, but no, I've never owned a pet bird. Um, Sapweed says, you are a saviour. Thank you very much. Little cannon! I'm down with that. I wonder whether you can go back to previous worlds. Probably not. Maybe. That started immediately. Is this... Mystic Munch of Mine. Mystic Munch of Mine. Gotta say, this uh, this creator has done some great stuff. Maybe that's why, you, you know, you lot were saying, Alex, play this one, because you knew it was good. In which case, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Come on. Oh! Didn't think that much would actually be able to hit me. Sneaky hitboxes. Sneaky hitboxes, that's what they are. Uh, incidentally, this... Whoa! How did that work? I'm too close to the pipe, aren't I? Aren't I? Maybe not. That was bizarre. Um, oh no, because that blocks it. Of course it does. Oh, blimey. Um, I can't pronounce that because I can't I can't speak any Cyrillic languages, but ch uh, person PlayStation has given me a hundred rubles. Thank you very much. I think that's what RUB is. Whee! <laughs> I like munchers. They play a key role in a lot of important mechanical things. You're not gonna... You're not gonna... Move. Oh, I've gotta go underneath. Damn. Oh well. I like the theme of this again. I really love levels with a really solid theme. But yes, thank you very much. As always... Alex, wait! Wait just a bleeding moment, and you might be able to... Oh, I was really hoping that was a mushroom. <laughs> Gonna take my time here. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, no, that's not... Ground pound that? I'm gonna have to try. Ah, I can, but I don't have a mushroom. <laughs> After all that, I didn't have a mushroom. Ah, well. So that's just. Okay, that's nice and simple. There we go. That was. Oh. Oh, those friends being eaten. 
Nice level again. Nice level. I like this. I'm so happy. Uh, oh, good lord. Chaftik says, I'm so happy with being able to have uh, new content for two of my favourite games. I should maybe look at chat at a slightly more opportune moment. Ah, I just missed him. Oh. Playing it too safe. Get your spiky shield up. Hey, hey. There we go. Um, sorry, Chaftik says, I'm so happy with uh, being able to have new content for two of my absolute favourite games, Mario Maker and Animal Crossing. It is a fine time to be alive, isn't it? I got me all the special coins, and I think that means I get a little bonus. I go this way. I go this way. It's just going to be loaded. Oh, propeller mushroom. Run. Fireworks and stuff. I like that. I like bonus things. Bonus things are great. Secrets. I kind of wish we could put more in, but still. Um, Dreamers242 says, uh, Nintendo Life. I'm going to read that as Alex. Alex, are you using any of the new stuff for the 3.0 update? I will be, yes. Uh, we're currently in a world, if you can believe it. Look at that. We're in a world, baby. Incidentally, I went onto that and it just started immediately. I didn't press A on it. That last one. I wonder if that's because it's a muncher. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe the different things, the different icons have different effects because it's just it's purely a thing purely an icon but you never know get me some mushroom i didn't even look what this one was called springboard stronghold these are some very finely made levels aren't they and this is what i really wanted from mario maker and this allows for a more consistent high quality experience imagine if you could do it online That'd be good. But... Uh, okay. Little donut blocks there to give you a little inclination and to let you know what the score is. And that's faster. So you need to hop over that one more quickly. Getting a little claps from I think. Oh, and Paul the moderator. He's always too good to me. He's donated £20 and said, thanks for being you. Thank you very much, Paul. It's hugely appreciated. Oh, I've got an itchy nose, though. So. Ah, that was too far. Got to get that, though, haven't I? Hey! Oh, now I've got to go back. Of course I do. Okay, so that's pretty forgiving. That's what I like about this. It's fairly forgiving. It's not ludicrously hard, but then again, early in the, um, in the world, it, I imagine. Is that the first time I've died? I'm not even sure. It might be. Oh, I've got to get the blooming key again. Come on. There we go. Got the timing a little more down for this now. Whoa. But yeah, the, I imagine the levels will get harder as you go along, which is, again, something you couldn't really tailor when playing Super Mario Maker 2 before, which was a shame. It was a real shame. There we go. This does feel like a little boss area. I'm, I'm just... I'm really chuffed with this whole update. It's... Oh, dear. Ah, so when they hit the lava, that's how it works. Ah, yeah, fool, you got too close. Ah, so they're not completely in sync. I can use that to my advantage. Did a little did in. Down you go. That was a little close for comfort. Ah, and that lets you know that you can't go back up that way. Oh, that's an incredibly clever way to make a one-way pipe. I can't believe that escaped my I suppose it only works vertically. Oh, and they're closing the room off and everything. Oh, and it opens up again. Good gravy. This is so many clever ideas. So... No, I... Ah! I pressed the trigger, didn't I? I pressed the trigger to do a little twirl in the air. And I couldn't do a little twirl in the air. 
So come on then, let's do this thing. Come on, Bowsy Jr. Now I know what's going down. And you're only Bowser Jr. at the end of the day. Oh, timing, Alex, timing. Gracious, gracious biscuits. Come on, we can do this. Oh my lord, Alex. Did I just trap him? I think I might have just trapped him. I've also just noticed the way that the floor was working. It was kind of like concertina. That was cool. Oh, that was... Sure, he had me going there genuinely worrying for a second there. Oh, blimey. That was good fun. That was really good fun. I'm kind of tempted to carry on. Kind of tempted to carry on. I'm being asked what my maker ID is um, because some people want to play some of my levels. Um, I, oh, I should have liked it. Sorry, I haven't been liking these levels. That's really rude of me. It's, I'm just as bad in dreams, and I don't go on dreams very often. <laughs> I'm assuming if you quit, you can't then oh, catch and win again. It's like the one I'm least good at. Oh, you! Come on. You! Why was I able to do it the first time? We get to see that again, though, so that's that. Oh, Bubblehead has donated two pounds. I hath returned. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Why can't I see more of it? Because YouTube has designed their website in a way that means you have to have 14 screens in order to be able to stream properly. <laughs> um... Now I can't see my volume levels, so things could be wrong. But thank you very much for the donation. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, Lorenzo Fusco asks, do you think they'll ever increase the level cap? I don't know. I suppose it depends on how... Um... Oh, sorry, itchy eye. It depends on how people respond to the, the current setup. Ugh. I like 3D World style. I like it a lot. I just feel more in control because there are more moves and stuff. You can affect your momentum more and stuff. I know the physics are basically exactly the same. So there we go. On. What am I doing? Oh no! <laughs> turns out, turns out I was too tall for that. There we go. Yeah. Interesting series of levels because they seem to focus more on sort of small little mini challenges overall. Um, strung together rather than, come on, defeat those piranha plants. I should have known that would happen. Rats. <laughs> Good lordy. One of them, and quickly, yay! Now I've actually got some stuff. And wabow! Should have, should have, should have gone on there much sooner. Much, much sooner. There we go. I really, really could do with some do with a mushroom but is what is whoa what was I saying about more control Just jumped over that couldn't I <laughs> oh dear why is my nose so itchy probably because I know I can't stop the recording because this isn't recording is it it's live streaming you lot are watching me live which is you're a boss! Hey! That was nice and simple. Ah! Oh. Ludicrous. Oh, I should have come through here with a bomb! 
Then I could have taken him out and gone to the secret. Rats. Oh well, another time perhaps. <coughs> okay, I think we're going to take a very, very, very brief break here. Just for a moment so that I can go and blow my nose and things like that. Um, and we will I, will, I will see you in just a moment. And I have to remember which one of these buttons is the right one. Let's hope it's this one. It is! And I am back. Welcome back, lovely people. Is that going to be a thing I say now? Good lord, who even knows anymore? But yeah, so, I'm just having a quick look at the create highlight video. Interesting. Live stream settings. I don't know how this whole new studio thing works, but... Oh well, we'll just keep, uh, keep cracking on, shall we? And my nose is still itchy, of course it is. It's just one of those things where, because you know you can't stop, your body's just like, I'm going to irritate you. Which is a shame, because I have nothing but respect for my body. So, what's going on in the chat? Wow, that was indeed a short break. Oh, when I say a short break, I mean it. And, ah, come back here. Uh, I'm probably going to take a short break for lunch as well at some point. Um, but, Alex, that's not how vines work. Gotta get like that. Um, because what time is it? Yeah, it's quarter to twelve. So we've been going for the best part of an hour now. Best part of one. I imagine it's going to be going on for a couple more. Maybe. I will see how I feel. My throat is starting to feel a little dry. But at the same time, I'm... Oh, God. I'm still feeling fine and fan dabby dozy so... Up. Let's see, uh... Let's see how we get on. Right, that's just going to say that door links to that. Thanks. I mean, it's of little consequence, but I appreciate it nonetheless. What's going on here now? I guess these are the platforms I've got to use. And jump between. Yep. Hey! What's in this box? Another mushroom. You could give me a fire flower or something, mate? I don't know. Maybe it would make it too easy. You could, uh... So oh, I really need to try out the Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, mushroom. That's going to be so much fun. I mean, I'm I am kind of um, as Simon Gray, dry throat. Coronavirus confirmed. No, actually, no one I know has been infected. Um, very pleased about that for obvious reasons. Oof. That was an unusual puzzle. I say puzzle. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, no. No one I know has been infected, which I'm thoroughly grateful for. Um, it's all it's all good. And uh, I do hope that you, um, you're you all staying safe out there. Really important. Stay home. Stay safe. Give me a trampoline so I can escape. Those are the three most important things. <laughs> um, yeah, you may go a little bonkers. I know I have been. Just a touch. Only a touch. But yeah, I've been going a little bit bonkers not being able to go outside. But it's for the best. It's for the best. Anyway, the whole point of this is it's supposed to be a lovely distraction from this kind of stuff. Also, it's relevant. Ha! Huh. Um, so let's open that up. Let's -a go. Oh, another little boss. I like the little bosses. Come on. Ow. Grab that. Come on. Flyboy. Oh, you toe rag. Ah! Oh! This is actually surprisingly challenging. Come on. Who would have thought a moving floor would make something harder? Come on. Thing. Yeah! Now we're talking was bingo bango. I got a little applause as well. Um, okay, I think after the... Is this is this the boss level? Hey! Oh. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh. So what's going on in the chat then? 
Uh, this music is relaxing, says Jesse Roman. Was that uh, when I had the thingy music on? That's not still on, is it? That would be embarrassing. No, it's not. At least it blooming shouldn't be. So let's go next. Do you think all this news and stuff mean there won't be a direct anytime soon, says Kenny? I think there probably won't be. I think maybe there have been issues, um, things slowing things down, and um, various leaks and things like that, shall we say. Oh, so you can- Ah, there's two paths! You can do multiple paths! Of course you can! Why didn't I think of that? Look at all the ninja people. I don't know how that works at all. Oh no, it started automatically! I was gonna say, let's not do another one. Noxious note blocks. Okay, we'll do, we'll do this one more, and then we'll go out and we'll have a look at some new stuff, eh? Unless you tell me otherwise in the chat. So, note blocks are death, says Mr. Cheney Chomp Boy. Oh, that's fun. Oh, secret little one up. Not that I really need them. I've got 20 of the sods. But even so. Gotta look out. Look out for the note blocks. Hop. Two. Three. Get in there. Honestly, Toadette does not know what she's doing. So we'll have a look at some of the other new stuff in the thing, and maybe have a... Um, uh, can we, uh, Osh says, can we have a look at new objects? Yes, indeed we can. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh. I'm guessing that'll, uh, hitting those note blocks will activate some sort of switch. Imagine. So, oh, good lord, okay. Up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. I don't know why I did that. I really don't know why I did that. That was so obvious that I shouldn't... It's so obviously something I shouldn't do. Especially after this previous one with a nice little... Little, little hoppity who's there. Uh, up. And through we go. Lorenzo Fusco asks, um, do you think a castle auto scroll with couplings on clouds out of screen that shoot at you while you avoid enemies would be cool? In I suppose, in theory. Um, it's a bit difficult to make a decision without that's quite a lot to process, actually. Come on, don't hit those blocks. It's all about the precision platforming, and I'm once again so pleased I decided to go with a proper uh, dedicated monitor for playing the game. Oh no! 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 You little devil! Oh! Oh, that's clever. That's really clever. Really, really clever. I've got such excellent ideas in here. So come on. I'm gonna make sure I've got nice, teeny, tiny little jumps. Oh, that goes against everything. Everything that my muscle memory wants to do. You know, higher jumps, get further away, safer. Cool! Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm enjoying the stream. Um, do you play Switch game? How do you play Switch games on a monitor? You plug it into the HDMI. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just I've just got an HDMI uh, monitor. In fact, I've got lots. <laughs> I've got a lot of monitors. I don't use them all. I've got three in here. Uh, two that I use for work. One that I use. In fact, I, I should be able to show you if you've got an even remotely tiny bit of interest. And I need to get... Right. Uh, if you can see... Nope, that's the wrong way. That's... That's a monitor there. And that's where I usually um, record footage and the like. Because then it's, it's always set up. Is that still good? Mm, shimmy. Shimmy over just a touch. Um, that's where I record footage because then it's it's always there. I don't have to worry about it. It's a low power screen. What is Toadette doing? So she stands there. And then she starts doing a little jig. Come on. Do, do the little thing. There we go. That's bizarre. Quit. So quit playing. That was really good fun. I, you can't download worlds, can you? That would be... When was I going to play again? Does it save where I was? 
<gasps> Continue? Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good. So pleased with that. They did not need to do that. But they did. Ah. <sighs> Dreamers242 says, I'm going to go have fun with the new 3.0 update. Goodbye. Well, thank you for coming along. Very much appreciated. Ninja Speedruns. I wonder if you can do that with Worlds now. I, I technically have never actually played the Ninja Speedrun because when the update came out, I didn't play it. The last one, I just didn't. Well, I did. I played it. Um, I was invited to um, Nintendo UK where I played it. And I played it there. But then I didn't actually play the final version, which was a really strange and silly thing. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, that's, um, I'm in the wrong area. I need to go into course maker more. Um, so I'm going to first start out with some fun stuff in the, uh, Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Bros style. But of course, using the most important thing. There's a quick way to get to the start, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Start. So. Turns out that's a Mega Mushroom. Um, so I'm assuming that's just going to be... It's going to be a separate power-up. Yeah. What does it say when you... SMB2. It actually says SMB2. That's interesting. So let's give this a go. It'll be interesting to see what Toadette looks like, because obviously she was never in it. Oh, she looks like Toad, unsurprisingly. That music. That music's absolutely classic. Absolutely classic. How do I... I can't... I genuinely can't pick up the Goomba. Is it only certain enemies you can pick up? I'd be surprised. You didn't have to press down and then run to pick up enemies, did you? It's been so long since I've played this is actually... Ah, oh. Well, I didn't want that. I tell you what, why don't I just give myself one to start off with it? Because <laughs> a big stack like that... can hold them as well. Okay, that's good. So it is properly like Super Mario Bros. 2. Let's go back over here and try out with a little Goomby boy. I don't remember having to press down. I mean, I'm not against the idea. I'm just surprised, that's all. Okay, so they don't just die when you throw them. That's good. I wonder... You can get the higher jump as well! Oh. Here I Ran out of the thing. So, maximum uh, jump height. Let's see what the maximum jump height is with that. So, well, let's make it um, easy. Let's see what the maximum height is by making a big mess of coins. And... One stack higher, and one stack higher. Okay, so let's get rid of this Goomby boy. Ah. You have to hold the button down. Again, I swear you didn't have to do that. So the maximum jump height I can get whilst running is... That many blocks. So what about this jump? It's just the same. Just the same. In fact, it might be slightly higher because I'm starting to clip through. Starting to clip. Yeah, starting to clip through the um, the coins just above. Whilst I'm not quite there yet. So that is the highest jump. Interesting. Very interesting. Ay, ay, ay. I like the fact that the enemies have the same death sound as well. Oh, and that works like a shell, just like how they used to back in, back in, dear. 
Let's change the theme to snow because they made a big thing about you can pick up snowballs. Um, so let's try that out. I suppose maybe they've got that as a consistency thing because when you're when, when you're um, running along and stuff like that. Sorry, when you're uh, in the snow level, you don't want to be constantly picking up snowballs. Or maybe it was always like that. God knows, I can't remember anymore. It really is not that important. You just it, you got to hold down. You got to hold down and then press the run button to pick things up. And you got to hold the run button. You can't just if you let go, you just throw it immediately. Bling, bling. <laughs> Silly. Um, yes, you must press down. You did have to press down. Okay, it was it's 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 me being a total ninny then. I assume those can hit sideways blocks. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, imagine having a, like a classic, doing like a sort of a tour de force Mario stage, which looks at all the classic different stars and has a load of different power-ups like that. The uh, SMB2 mushroom. But also... I did unlock the other... Did I not unlock the Super Bowl flower? Or is it... Did you get it a different way? Did you get it through like this? Did I not unlock the Super Bowl flower? There's one quick way to find out. I'm pretty sure I did story mode a second time. Am I playing on a different account or something? <laughs> I'm genuinely embarrassed about all that. I must have done it all. All the stuff I did, I must have done on the other version of Mario Maker. Come on. The other version, uh, if you weren't here earlier. When I reviewed the game, I got a separate version of the game. Um... Which was exactly the same as the release version, except it had access to different servers and stuff like that, so we could try things out and try out the whole server thing before the, the actual public servers were live. Don't quite know why they did it that way, but that's what they did. So that's fine. Come on. New. Can't, I'm sorry, I can't skip this. I'm pressing every button. I could close the game, I suppose, but that feels like it would take longer. I can't believe I... I can't believe I didn't do it. No! No! <laughs> D-Dub says, sure, Alex, sure. I can blooming prove it to you. So you've got Super Mario Maker 2. Super Mario Maker 2. You can't have the same game on there twice, so they're technically different games. There's also version 1.0, which means, um... There would be some inter maybe some interesting stuff still works in that. That may actually be really useful for someone out there. But unfortunately, I'm the one who's got it. <laughs> so let's um let's go back into the course maker and have a fiddle around with some of the new gubbins. Because we got a uh, oh there's a link sword and everything here. Yeah. I'm trying to remember the other stuff that was um uh that was revealed. I'll I'll, I'll just have a mosey through the menus and see what we got. See what we. Yeah. Um, I think that was... Ah, yes, of course. Good lord, they've got their entire own... ...section. Is that all of them? Were there only... ...seven Koopalings? No, there was more than that, wasn't there? Morton, Larry, Ludwig, Iggy, Wendy... There's more than seven Koopalings, isn't there? No, 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 no. No, there's only... I don't know why I thought there were more. But I thought there were more. Mecha Cooper. Three kinds. The fire kind. Here I, go. I, um, erroneously... Ah! Referred to... Oh, lordy. Of course, you can't destroy anything just by jumping on them. Oh, no. That's gonna be useful. Someone's gonna make a blooming good use out of that, aren't they? 
Up we go. In fact, I think the bullet bills would be more useful because they wouldn't blow up. Or maybe that's more useful because it does blow up. I don't know. Ow. Now I can't get this thing. Oh well, so that's the Mecha Koopa. They've got a couple of different variants. The laser one intrigues me the most. I have... Ah! That's kind of terrifying, isn't it? Ever so slightly terrifying. Oh, and of course they behave properly like Mecha Koopas, and in this style, you can't pick anything up. Um, unless you've got this power-up. Alex, get rid of those power-ups. So I'm guessing that doesn't even stun them. Are they... Ah, they become inactive when you pick them up. This really does feel like Mario 2, though. Like, painfully like it. Which is the intent, of course, but... You never know, do you? You never know how something's gonna pan out. Oh, so I can destroy them like that. People are gonna be like making a lot of snow levels. A lot of snow levels. I did see briefly, um, moderator Paul did suggest making a, um, a multiplayer level where the focus is to have a snowball fight. That's a really good idea. One that I probably won't be able to realise in this stream because I imagine you'll all get very tired if I just sit there and make a level for the entire time. Because it's not very interesting to watch. Unless I suppose there's some crazy hacker, like Psycro or something. But that ain't me, I'm afraid. I'm just some goober. And I've got an itchy ear. Ooh. Crumbs and blimey. Oh, Joshua says, Hey, Alex, is there a way to make the Mecha Koopa stand still? That's an interesting idea. I suppose, beyond just putting them, stacking them on um, a muncher, I would have thought, would do it. Let's just, uh, I'm just going to... There is a way to make the Mecha Koopa stand still. You do that, and you can stand on it. And you can pick it up and lose your power up and throw it immediately. Excellent, isn't it? But yeah, because they, they move when they're active, don't they? Even the laser ones. Let's double check. Yes, they do. And then I suppose they stop when they... Ah! That laser is genuinely quite frightening. How far does it reach? No, look over this way. Well, how am I supposed to tell how far it reaches if you look the other way, you fool? Wow, that is a long range. I assume that doesn't mean, no, they're not global. They're not global. You do see the full length of their laser, though. That was so out of sync. Um, try picking up the laser one. Ah, I already have done. Uh, but the thing is, they go into a dormant state when you pick them up, so... Oh, God, that's not going to work, Alex. That's another thing. Um, if you were to put them on a muncher, they wouldn't move like that. But I don't think they go over edges anyway, so if you just put them on a single block, uh, I imagine... Alex, press the right button for a change. Um, oh, we got a block up there. Just stick them on one of these. I'm guessing they'll just... Yeah, they just dart back and forth, but as good as. Whee! Wee! Oh, I don't... Whenever I... Whenever I play, like... Super Mario 2. I always used to play as Peach because I like the floating mechanics. Because when I was younger, I was rubbish. And so now playing Super Mario Bros. 2 with any other character feels weird and wrong. It feels like, oh, no, I'll just float. And, you know, they come back to life even if you're kicking them constantly. Interesting, interesting stuff. Let's have a look at a different style. Um, move on to Super Mario Bros. 3. Why not? A little bit of a, a delay that some people... Oh my god, of course. A frog suit! Ah! You can move normally when you're holding an item with a frog suit. Interesting to know. Because, yeah, the frog suit is a mixed bag. I never really got along with the frog suit. <laughs> because you move just like that. Which is fine. We've got the Super Mario Bros. 3 sound in there as well when you lose it. That's interesting. And I believe that one's exclusive to this, isn't it? It's exclusive to this star because Super Mario World has got the pea balloon instead. 
Just a just a magic balloon. It's not the button, Alex. Good lord. Okay, this behaves quite differently. And you lose it quite quickly. Is it a permanent power-up then? That'll be interesting to know. Let's just uh, take that out. Get rid of it. Let's see how the pea balloon works. Stick it in a box. Does it float away? Stays stationary. Does it last forever though? Let's just um, wait. Why don't we? Let's wait. Oh, I suppose we can might as well play around with it while we can. So yeah, you just fly around, you hold the run button. You don't have to hold the run button, but you're much slower. It's almost like sort of like a top-down racer. Somebody's gonna make that, aren't they? Some sort of top-down racer. No! Ah! That's something you don't see in videos. My weird hiccups. And those are hiccups. They're not burps or anything. They're hiccups. I get one, and then I move on with my life. And it looks like the people who last forever, so it's quite different. It's almost basically a new power-up. Because it didn't even used to really behave in this exact way before. Oh. Oh, I do like the Mecha Cooper design in world style. And touching anything, it seems, will make you lose it. That's interesting. So you're actually in a very vulnerable state. And I didn't, I didn't check. Do you go back to... No, you go back to super. You go back to super. So you got a super mushroom as well. As expected. I'm assuming you can't combine power-ups. Alex, you'll... Oh, no, no, no. I should be able to... What happens if you grab another power-up when you've got the P-Balloon? Or is that going to... I assume it'll just deactivate it like other ones. Yeah, it does. But that's interesting. I think that's going to be hugely, hugely game-changing. Because completely free movement like that, we haven't seen before. Basically turns... Are you at an angle? No. Um... Yeah, that changes things a lot. Can you can you imagine making a little top-down racer game like Micro Machines or something? You basically make like a big maze. And you have to go around it and you've got loads of friends and each one of you's got a pea balloon. That would be bonkers. Blimey. Oh dear, Godzilla42 says, um, Stupid Animal Crossing New Horizons, Spike will happen just when my nook shop is closed. Isn't that a good thing? Because your nook shop's closed, but you can sell bugs anyway. For more money. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, my, my partner, Sasha, she's in exactly the same situation. Spike is... um, Hang on, Spike. Spike. Spike, the bug. Bug, bug person. Spike. Spike. I'm getting confused. I confuse myself so easily these days. And I find it happens so much more when recording and on stream and stuff like that. It's really weird. There's probably some weird psychological reason for it. What it is, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look at some more lovely gubbins. Um, let's have a look at New Super Mario Bros. U. Come along. There we go. And the new one here is the Super Acorn, isn't it? We've got. Which is the Super Acorn. I quite, I quite like the Super Acorn. I'll be honest, like so many others... I'm so original in the sense that I'm not big on the U on the new Super Mario Bros. games because I'm so original. So original like that. Mecha Coopers. Did we have a look at Mecha Coopers in 3 style? I think we may have seen them in the uh, in the video, but you know what? Let's have a look at them anyway. Definitely looks like a Mecha Cooper would in Super Mario Bros. 3. Can't argue with that. Let's make the laser fire. See what that looks like. Same sprite, it seems, as the uh, the Super Mario Bros. style. Interesting. And what do they look like in Super Mario 3? Oh no, of course, because you, <laughs> you can't just change the game style, Alex. Because this is one of the extra game styles with an S. Still, I want another style. I want another style. Anyway, what else is there to look at? I'm going to double check. Because I don't want to miss anything before going and nuking what I've got here. It, which is silly, because 
I did a video all about it, but obviously, off the top of my head, I don't remember everything. Um, Super Mario Bros. 2, Mushroom, Frog Suit, Power Balloon, Super Acorn, Boomerang Flower. But that's in 3D World style. Uh, Larry, Iggy, Wendy, Lemmy, Roy, Morton, Ludwig. Uh, Mecha Cooper, Cursed Key, of course, on-off trampoline. That's another thing, but Cursed Key. Let's definitely have a look at the curse, Cursed Key or Cursed Key. I would have thought Cursed in this instance. Don't ask me why. But Cursed... Does... Is it an entirely new item? Not just a variant. Oh, it's only in the um, Super Mario Bros. style. Which feels like a bit of a wasted opportunity. Fanto's not that unique to... Um, there we go. Cursed key. It's all red. Oh, there's no door. <laughs> so nothing's going to happen. Um, let's have a look and get a door in, shall we? Can't remember where the blooming things are. Warp door. Make it a key door. I got the key! Hooray! Happy me! And Fanto appears! How does Fanto behave? Slower than before, I think. Yeah, that's definitely slower. Definitely slower. But what about when we got a Super Mario Bros. Doom Mushroom in our mitts? Any differently? Oh. Maybe if you played the game properly, Alex, you'd be able to know! Uh, nah, it seems to be behaving the same. Yeah, just... Yep, yeah, just moseying back and forth. Ah! I thought you could stun him. You could stun him with throwing something. Unless it can't be a snowball. Ah, oh, Fanto's still there. So what about if we get Fanto and... Had to be done, didn't it? Had to be done. Fanto and the Angry Sun. The two globular things trying to kill you. What about the Angry Sun? Can I take that Angry Sun out with a snowball? Oh, it might help if you threw it properly, Alex. Oh, you devil! Go on, you little sausage. Come on, Angry Sun. Come at me, bro. Oh, for God's sake. You know, I'm just going to not grab the key. There's no need if, when I'm trying something like this out. Good gravy. Come on. Come on. Getting bored now. Hey, hey, you can. That's good to know. Is the cursed key floating? Does it usually float? Probably usually floats. I have a terrible memory for stuff like this. Interesting that you can't kill Fanto, though. Ugh. Oh -ho! Can I kill Fanto? No, I can't. I'm looking. I'm looking over here to see what the view's looking like, and I can't. Oh, got to keep an eye on the chat. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Two Mushroom in a Block. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Is there one in there? <laughs> Thank you, Musilla. Um, are you going to play Worlds Online? Asks Joe Copeland. I already have done, but um, I um, I can do that later again if people want me to. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, so I think we're going to go. Um, I've got I've got a world actually. If I go to Course World, I should be able to see Course World. Course Bot. I got my suffixes wrong, didn't I? Um. Let's have a look at car. <laughs> Just because it's in 3D world style. <coughs> the legged one asks, can you pick up multiple cursed keys? That's a very good point. I will have a look. Let's um, just go into this though. Hang on. Edit course. I'm not paying enough attention. I need more water from my blue glass. Um, hey, um, hey, to who asked about the Phantom versus Star? 
You don't die, but the phantom doesn't get killed. Oh, I am a platypus has just donated a pound and said nothing. Thank you very much. I am a platypus one, two, three, four, rather. Thank you very much. Um, so what are we trying out? We've got a whole mess of stuff in here, haven't we? A whole load of new masks. An entire page of masks or hats, whatever you want to call them. Bullet Bill mask. I want to try out the Bullet Bill mask. Oh. Oh. So you can fly with it, but if you... Oh, you hold the jump button. I was holding the bloody run button to do it. Not the run button. So you jump and hold the button. Infinite wall jump. Oh, not infinite. The bullet bill hat doesn't allow you to fly forever. Can you wear the... <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. It doesn't seem to do anything. That's a real shame. I was thinking we could have a flying car. That's disappointing. Whee! Whee! Oh, lost it. Okay, let's spawn another one. Inside. Oh, good lord. Just trying to have fun. Let me have fun, Bowser. That's interesting. It'll run out, won't it? Oh, it'll run out until we get attacked. You know what? Meowza, you're getting spawn blocked. <laughs> I like that he did his little roar and then just disappeared. So I'm guessing we can't do this indefinitely. I'm just going to hold the two buttons down. Yeah. It... Hang on. So it sort of seemed to splutter? Okay, I'll tell you what, let's um, open this up a bit. How big is this level? Let's make it much, much bigger. Scroll all the way back here. And uh, let's just rub some of this gubbins out. Not even going to say anything. Because everyone's already aware of what a ninny I am. Because you just saw it. So let's see how far we can go. Because it splutters. And yeah, you can't do it again. But if you hit a spring, I think, you should have a trail. Good. So I'm going to put a spring a little bit beforehand. Just a little bit, because... Kill the button, Alex. The fi finer controls. Let's just spawn another one. I used the trampoline, didn't I? Trampoline! So let's see what's happening. Oh, it's... You absolute ninny, Alex. It's not going to stay there if you just leave it floating. God, you must, you must all think I'm an absolute ninny. And you know what? You're right. I am a ninny. That. And fly across. And let's see what happens now. No, it doesn't. But they definitely did it over there. I want to investigate this further. So what happens if we let go before we hit the spring? Let's bring the spring... A little closer so we don't have to ru huh. what a ninny what a blooming ninny right what's going on this i just want to have fun that's interesting that is genuinely interesting if you hit a spring, it resets it, but you have to let go in order for that to happen. 
What a weird quirk of it. So, let me show that again. So I'm flying along, and this is just me holding the buttons down, hit the spring, and I just fall. I press the buttons again, nothing happens. But then... I fly along, and I let go of the jump button. I didn't do it properly. I definitely got it to work last time. So I'm so that's that's pleasing. Okay, so fly along, fly along, fly along. You're gonna splutter. Ah, maybe I need to make a taller stack of trampolines to give me a little bit more of a fighting chance. Here we go. So right, splutter. Maybe, maybe it has to be spluttering. Which obviously, it may not be. Bring those over. Finally remembered a thing. Good for me. So, splutter. That's really odd. That's really odd. Because it definitely worked again that time. Unless it's an oversight, which is possible. I'll tell you what, let's wait for it to splutter. So it's not, I thought maybe it was just turning around, but no, there does seem to be a window where if you hit a spring, You have to touch the ground. I'm not touching the ground though, am I? I'm touching a spring. It's a vertical surface. Actually, that's an interesting idea. No! Normal vertical surfaces don't count. Only springs. That's a really unusual thing. Who, who said that? Sorry, um, that was Godzilla42. Uh, no, it's... Um, well, I suppose, yeah, if you touch the ground. Flowflex says, hey there, Alex, with a cat emoji. Hello. Um, uh, <laughs> what have we got going on in the chat, then? Phil Davis says, it might be that you're clipping the hitbox of what is below the spring, making the game think you've been grounded. I wonder if there's a way to test that. Probably, but I'm not clever enough for that. Either way, fun little interesting thing. Let's try a different hat. We can give it wings. <laughs> that makes me happier than it should do. Same with that. <laughs> That's fun. Joe Henry Ortega, Ortega says, Hi Alex, you lovely person. Hi Joe. Um, the spring retracts slightly, giving you a place to stand. That might, that might be, that might be it. That might be it. Here I go. Hmm. Either way, interesting little, um, interesting little tech, tech thing. That's not what I meant to press. Um, so we tried that. Let's, um, let's have a go with the, the Goomba mask. So let's see. Bowser's there. Here I go. He's gonna attack. And then if I've got the Goomba mask on. Oh, it's either that Bowser isn't tricked by it, or you have to have it before the enemy sees you, maybe? Ow. Okay, so let's just go up here. So... I'm gonna need more platform for this. I tell you what, let's just bring Bowser down here. It might be easier. Meowser. He's not going for me, actually. Well, he's just going back and forth as if, well, I suppose idle. Unless he's coming back to attack me. 
What if I go in front of him? No, no, he's just idle. Now let's try that where I... Good lord, that's a lot of stuff. So, the enemies see me and then I get the hat. Oh no, even, even, even Meowza is fooled. Now will no longer be. Even though Bullet Bill is also one of his minions. His bowels are stuck under there. Not as stuck as I'd like. So that's interesting. So let's definitely trigger Bowser so he... Yeah. And now is he idle? Yeah, he's idle. Very interesting. I mean, it's, it's very basic. It's how you'd expect, but... At the same time, hmm. And also, I seem to remember seeing... I want to double-check that, actually. In the di direct. Oh, God. It wasn't the direct. So, let's just double-check. Yep, that still works absolutely fine. But now, let's put on the Goomba hat, and I believe swamps won't even... Now, that is tasty. Look at that Goomba go. Oh, no, bullet bill. I'm so sad you can't... You can't fly with the car, though. Can you imagine how cool that would be? I mean, you can jump out and then fly. It's not It's not the same. Meowza, you're getting spawn blocked for the time being. So, what other ones have we got? We've got the propeller hat, which is going to function exactly... Yep, that's exactly as I imagined. Ooh. This would be an interesting test, actually. Let's get a um, little bit of ground there. And, um, in fact, no, let's move the ground to over there. Get some spring -a dings See if the same thing happens that uh, happened before. I don't actually have the propeller hat on. There we go. So we've got... Because you get three spins per... Whee! Per thing. Simple. Yeah! I reckon... I reckon you guys are right. I reckon you're... Touching the springs. It's not... It's not reliable. It's not reliable at all. Ah. But that's interesting. So I think... I think you were right. I think essentially standing on top. Like this. One of the springs was moving back slightly so that it just allows you to rest on top of the other one. So it's probably only likely to happen when falling. Let's see if we can make it happen again. Yes! There it is! There it is! It's just a little, uh, little, little trip. Um, uh, Blickensnorf says, sorry if it's a bother, but I'm new to the stream. Can you use the bullet hat? For you, Blinkensnorf, anything within reason. Wee! <laughs> Hang on. That was interesting. I swapped direction. Again, I think because I. Weird. There's some inconsistency with that. Hmm. Strange. Goom! That. Anyway. So, yeah. That's interesting. We've got one more. No, sorry, two more. We've got the cannon box. I know exactly how that's going to work. It's going to work like the cannon box. You hold the Y button. Charge a shot. And those react! That's very pleasing. You can't destroy those, but... I accidentally kill the Cooper. I shot the Cooper. Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. So, I shot the Cooper. But I could not shoot the Swampy Boy. Probably. I wonder if I can shoot backwards. 
seems to always shoot in the direction you're technically facing. Even when you're spinning around. That's interesting. Let's have a quick look at the red power block. But again, this is going to be very simple. It's just going to be... You hit your head on... How about we have another one? You hit your head on stuff. Kapow! A pow effect happens. Does that... Oh, it protects you from thwomps. It makes sense, but even so. Oh. You're really trying my patience. Bump. Oh. I'm guessing you have to be in a jumping state. Yeah, you're in a jumping state and the power takes effect. Just, just enjoying a power block driving a car now. And now it's a bullet build because of course it is. There's a lot of anti-thwomp weapons in this, isn't there? Um, and that's all of the new hats. But we do also have the boomerang flower. Let's give that a go. It's going to behave like a normal power-up. I can't remember. Can you combine power-ups and hats? You can. They stack, but you can't use them both. And I'm guessing if you take damage, you just lose the, you just lose the hat. You little toe rag. I want me boomerang flower. Let's see how it all works. It works exactly as I would expect it to. Come on. Yeah, doesn't hurt them. But it's good fun. Pretty, pretty simple addition, but I can't necessarily see anything too crazy being created because of it. I wonder whether you can avoid it proper. Ah, it breaks eventually. Interesting. I'm just going to keep saying interesting, because why the hell not? Okay, so that is, um, that's all the new stuff. No, there's like, um, people got really excited because something they didn't mention is that uh, dotted line blocks, I believe, are now in here, which is a big deal, and I can't exactly remember why, because, um, I would think because... Yeah, on-off switches allow a lot of um, crazy things to happen. And now we we have them. I don't think we... Um, there's the on-off trampoline as well, which... Was... Well, I suppose it's interesting in the sense that it's solid ground and not just nothing. But at the same time... I'm not that excited about the on-off trampoline. It almost feels like... They just, you know, so it almost feels like a little bit of filler. I mean, it's not a bad addition. Nothing's a bad addition because it's something. Somebody's probably going to be able to create something stupidly, crazily good with this. Um, but it ain't me because I'm not good enough for that sort of stuff. And I don't understand the mechanics quite enough. And I believe that's all the new stuff. Except the Kooplings, which I will have a look at. I will have a look at now. Let's have a look at Core Spot. My wrist is still hurting. Um, let's... let's use the angry wiggle of monorail. Hang on, no. Make, yeah. Ugh. I wonder what you can do with boomerangs in clear pipes. That's an interesting idea, actually. Damn shame that I've already moved on. <laughs> that was, um, sorry, that was uh, brownie hugs. Brownie hugs. So let's have a look at the Koopalings. I wonder whether you can... There must be a maximum you can spawn, because they're bosses, aren't they? Oh. I think that was... an accident. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Part limit reached for, I'm guessing... That's mad. That's really mad. And you can still spawn in Bowser Jr. 
Um, Bowser. Boom, boom. Another Bowser. Another boom, boom. Another boom, boom. Another boom, boom. Good lord. I'm not going to live. That's bonkers. That is so much. Way more than I would have expected. Can they go in Cooper Clown cars? Yes, they can. Which makes a lot of sense. Good God. Um, <laughs> Alex, that's the wrong button. That's a lot of bosses. I'm guessing then... Let me just rub these guys out. All of them. Done and dusted. I'm guessing you... You, because of the way that it was. I'm guessing you can just spawn, like, one. You can just spawn a stack of Ludvigs. Just spawn seven Ludvigs. Because why wouldn't you want to do this? There's some very unpredictable bullet hell. My lord. Can you put them all in a clown car? Can only one go in a clown car? I can't remember. Let's just see if they can... Is that despawning Ludwigs? It is, isn't it? Because... What happens if they just... Nah, they just fall through. I'm stuck in a wall. So let's see how Ludwig... ...behaves in a clown car. As you might expect. And they all, I believe, have unique properties. Even those that didn't in previous games, like... Wasn't Mor Morton and Roy, weren't they basically the same? In Super Mario World? They basically did the... Okay, so you've got a different pattern. Is that the only difference? Let's have a look at... That's Boom Boom, Alex. Let's have a look... Oh, excuse me. Ah, still spawning the balls. Oh. And they don't actually hurt you. Interesting, but you can bounce on them. That's cool. So it seems like they've kind of sort of tried to bring a lot of the differences between... Okay, so Roy has the same as Morton, pattern-wise. Let's have a look at Wendy. Ooh, throwing those hoops, which I know do hurt me. Because I got killed by one before. Ah, wrong bleeding button. So let's have a look now. Let's go through all of them. You're going to be the same... Oh, you're the same again. It's almost like Ludwig has a unique one. We'll find out. Yes, it seems Ludwig's is unique. And the others are more kind of just standard generic patterns. Huh. That's really interesting. But how do they behave outside of a clown car? Because I'm expecting Morton... Is going to behave... Oh, Ludwig can flutter jump? And is that everything? Yeah, Ludwig... Okay, so Ludwig just throws three out at an angle and flutter jumps. Lemmy... Does three, hops back and forth. Does three, hops back and forth and just does three. Okay, so pretty simple. have a look at Iggy. Those are faster. Those are definitely faster. And he doesn't jump. Okay, so there are some subtle, subtle differences so far. Wendy, she's got the special hoops. And she jumps and casts and jumps. Interesting. Roy, he's our boy. Oh, lordy. That's very different. 
Ah, <laughs> yes! Disappears and reappears. There we go. How many hits do they take? I'm guessing they all take the same number of hits. Oh, he's gone off again. Oh, that's a fun. He's a fun boss. Oh! Does that mean they also have different things they do when they're attacked? I've got to get this clown car out of the way. Hey, hey three. And, yeah, the one disappeared. Um, yeah, let's just rub that out. What's going on in the chat? What's going on in the chat? Alex, remove the clown car from more differences. Um, I did a while ago. Maybe that's an old message. That was, um, that was Matthias Wolfbook. Um, so let's crack on. Get Lemmy on up in this thing. He stands on a ball. That makes sense. Whoa. And they're just bouncy. You know what? I'm going to give myself a blooming super mushroom so that this doesn't constantly happen. He takes damage, does a little jump, just like in Super Mario Bros. 3. Really should be doing this in a more open area. So let's um, have a look at what Morton does. I imagine he's going to do some sort of slam on the ground. That's kind of his thing, isn't it? Oh! Oh! He shoots fire out! Does it stun me as well? Yes, it stuns me as well. Morton's a big boy. I thought I hit you. Whoa, whoa, okay. Oh, good gravy. Okay, so Morton does a couple more jumps when he takes hits. Okay, so let's... What does Ludwig do when he takes damage? Flutter jump. Couple of jumps. Whoa! Whoa! Lordy, he's fast. Oh, he can activate switches as well. Can they all do that? Oh dear, I can see that being terrifying. That flutter jump lasts a long time. Can he fly indefinitely? Crumbs. Okay, we've done Morton. Lemmy. Iggy, even. Is it Iggy? Oh, we done him, because he... Yeah. Wendy. Did we do Wendy taking damage? Jump, jump, jump. Quite a lot of jumps again. Roy. We did taking damage, didn't we? Because he jump, jump. So they all do have some slight subtle differences between them. Come on, Iggy. Iggy Pop, that you're named after. And he seems to jump towards you. But three three times again. Oh, that's the wrong button, Alex. And lastly... Let's see what Lemmy does. One, two... Just two jumps. It seems to be back and forth, maybe? Yeah, back and forth. I should really delete you. Ah! Oh, there we go. That's interesting. I tell you- Oh, try them with wings. Good lord. You know, you forget- Can they- <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. I imagine they're just the same. I only jumped once, then. Is that a difference, or- was he always only jumping once? Maybe not. Let's try um, with wings, but let's take off his super mushroom. Does bigger jumps, but what about when they get hit? Same as before. Okay, same as it ever was. Not quite as worrying. That's a big jump, though. It's a big jump. I'm, I've really got to see what um, what Ludwig does with wings, because he already flutters. So what's he going to do now? 
flutters and attacks in the air. No thanks. Ah! Oh, I got a hit on him. Hey, hey, I got... When you hit him several times, he starts attacking with more things. Good gravy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, Rev649 the gamer has just said, put Ludwig with wings. I just have. Uh, Alex, so good to see you, says Ethan Wojtka. Thank you very much. Um, what happens when you fight the Koopalings with the Mario Bros. 2 mushroom? Very, very good idea. Let's try that out, shall we? Well, it's right with Ludwig just because he's here. Give myself the, uh,. Ah, oh, they just take damage in the normal way. Ah, oh, that's kind of that's kind of disappointing. That's a little bit disappointing. I'm guessing the same goes for uh, Bowser Jr. as well. Let's just find out. Yeah, same with Bowser Jr. That's a shame, but interest interesting idea. the Koopa Clown card. Does that behave any differently with Super Mario Bros. 2? Mushroom? Doesn't, doesn't seem to be. No. Moving on! Let's just get rid of that and get rid of that. I wonder what more we can do with the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. Uh, Ludwig in Super Mario Bros. style is my sleep paralysis demon, says Doom Marine. There you have it. You, you heard it here first, folks. The Doom Marine is scared of Ludwig. When you should be scared of Iggy, apparently. Good lord, or Roy. Yee. Iggy. Iggy. Let's give him wings, see what happens. Oh, 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 I don't like that. So he doesn't jump up, but he does jump back and forth quite quickly. Hoisky poisky. Right, let's see. What other things have we got that we can try out with the Super Mario? Oh, I wonder. Super Mario Bros. 2 style. Can you pick up a thwomp? No. <laughs> That's a shame. What other things could there be? Piranha Plant, I'm guessing no. Uh, Rocky Wrench, I'm guessing yes. Blooper. Mm. You can stand on a blooper! You can pick him up, throw him, and... Oh, probably dies. Let's have a look at some other things. Um, Karibo Shoe Gumba? Oh, they come out of the shoe. Well, now I've got to see what happens if you got the shoe and you try and pick an, uh, up an enemy. Let's try it with a blooper. Good God. Okay, come on, Bloopy boy. Come on. Is it just gonna... I imagine it's just gonna... Yeah, that's disappointing. Oh, well. What about a Wiggler? Specifically, an... An, an angry Wiggler. Let's see. Nah, just as before. What about a normal wiggler? Normal wiggly time. I'm guessing it's just going to be bounce off the top. Yeah, it's too integral to the wiggler's mechanics. But that is a shame. Um, what other things could we maybe pick up? Like, Buzzy Beetle is going to be obvious. Cooper Trooper. Cheap, cheap. That's actually surprisingly similar to how the, um, the hopping birds worked. Not entirely, but... Somewhat similar. Um, pokey. No, full right through him. Full right through. I suppose it makes sense because that's how they behaved in the original. Lava bubble, I'm guessing, is going to damage you. But bomb. Why not? Let's give it a go. Oh, it starts exploding. Immediately. Ah! I was kind of hoping it would say bomb. 
like you used to in Super Mario Bros. 2. That'd be cool. Oh, Katie Bailey says, would love to see you um, you and Z on live stream together sometime. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. Well, yes, thank you. But at the same time, something not necessarily just live streaming, but doing videos together we have considered. It's... Um, the only thing is there's the logistical side of things, which is not as simple as perhaps it could be. Oh, my Lord! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, someone's got to make a level out of that. Come on. Let's, let's. Oh, it has to change because, yeah. If you throw it the other way, it goes the other way. Oh, no, I can't get back up to it. <laughs> but yes, this text here, these coins say, hello there. Lovely. People. What a surprise. I'm nothing if not consistent. I'm guessing the uh, Banzai Bills do spawn now. I always want to call them Bullion Bills as well. I think because there's a character called Bullion Bill in... Ah! Well, that was annoying. But no, that's really cool! I wonder if there are any... Big enemies behave slightly differently, don't they? Well, let's just... Okay, so it just takes longer to pick them up, but that's still a nice touch. Okay, so... Let's get rid of you, and get rid of you. Let's have a nosy. What's going on in chat? Can you pick up the angry sun? I'm guessing not, just because it seems to be the way that it works. Is that it's down to if you if you can jump on them and kill them, you can pick them up. But I'm willing to be proven wrong, and hopefully I'm about to do it one way or the other. Let's try that again. No, sadly, you just take damage. That's a shame, but I'm not surprised. Because it's a bit of a specialist part. Um, same with Bowser Jr. You can't pick him up. All the Koopalings. No. I was, seeing, I was just wondering whether you could pick up an icicle. That'd be really cool. But alas, no. Um... I wonder why the keys work differently. Nah, you still just pick them up. I was hoping you'd have to, like, actually pick them up and hold them. That would be really cool. Really fun. Um, lava lift? I'm assuming you can't pick up one of them. No. Um, on-off blocks? Fire bars? No. Power block, though. That's a classic, isn't it? Yes! Changes the audio as well. Interesting. So let's have a... Um, is there anything else? Uh, please tell me in the chat if you can think about... What about Lakitu? Ooh. Thank you, Jacob, please. Good idea. What the hell is Lakitu? Or Lakitu, as some people pronounce it. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it, but... The game just said lack it to. So I'm going to go with that. Yeah, you can pick up. <laughs> you can pick him up out of his little cloud. And now I am the master of the clouds. It's like that birdie thing. With the magic carpet. Let's see what else we could do. Lack it to um, Mecha Cooper we've done. I'm going to see Boom Boom. I imagine it's going to be the same as the other bosses, but... Yeah... Um, what about power blocks? We've just tried power blocks, they work. Um, thwomp, uh, thwomp doesn't... Stone. That's not a stupid suggestion, that's a very good suggestion. Is that considered a hard block? Or an ice block? Tell you what, let's do a variety of blocks. Because I know you can go through cloud blocks, which is really cool. No blocks, you're just going to bounce off. Donut block, though? Who knows? 
Question mark box. Ice block. Um, try a normal block as well, I suppose. I don't think that's going to work because you use them as ground. Uh, Blink and Snorf. Oh, was already asked. I've already answered that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. That does nothing. Come on, you little toe right. I'm just going to kill him. I can't be bothered to go out of the screen again. There we go. Donut block. Nothing. Nope. Nothing for the ice block. And nothing for the standard block. But... They've even added a different little animation and everything. Do they come back? I'm guessing they don't. But yeah, that's... It was actually... Let's have a look at that again. Let's do a proper little... Because you can create little... The clouds look like they're dying quite horribly. Damn, that's good. That's really good. What more could there be? Big coins, I'm guessing you just pick up. Rather than having to... Yeah. Uh, can't pick up blocks. Sideways spring. Interesting. Good idea. Um, rules, you can just pick things, switch faces and... You can just pick thing... Things with faces and powers, says um, Arthur Vergolino. Apologies for the pronunciation of that. Whether that is true. Anything with faces. You can't pick up the cloud. I don't think. I didn't try. You can't pick up the cloud. I tried. So let's just, let's get rid of that sod. Unfortunately, that's a 30 surprising, surprisingly good rule, but uh, it's not hard and fast. P-Switch is a good, is a good shout. I imagine it's just going to activate like P-Switches do. Yeah. But listen. That is the uh, secret music. It's from going through the doors, isn't it? That's pretty cool. Can you king jump? Yes. Um, Bowser. I don't. I don't imagine you can pick up Bowser because he uh, he counts as a spike. But I'll try. I'll try. It would be ludicrous if I said you couldn't do it without trying it. Yeah, no, you just pass right through him and take damage. Um, try sideways springs. Yes, that was another good idea. Let's try that out. That was um, uh, John Hock that time. Not the only person to have suggested that, though. Being... There it is. Yeah! Makes sense. So it basically allows kind of grabbing mechanics in um, Super Mario Bros. style. Oh, I've got an idea. Because, yeah, I know you, we know you can pick up a Koopa Trooper. Can then you then stand on the shell? Because that's something you can't do in other, st in other styles. Hey! Look at me go. I think you can't do that in other styles. No, you just... Yeah. Ooh. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Many question marks. It's come up with a very good idea. Boss music. Because obviously, different sounds and stuff. Birdo! Classic. Love it. That's really cool. Uh, Nelson Palmer's asking about Lakitu. Lakitu you can pick up. We've done that. But not the cloud. Only Lakitu himself. That's really cool though. <laughs> oh, that's made my day. 
Um, what are we going on? Bonus music? Oh, bonus music. Good idea. You know, I'm going to put the music down here. Uh, let's try final boss music. What? Good stuff. I'm assuming that's not going to change. Nah, that doesn't change. I think we can probably guess that the same can be said for... Yeah, no, those ones don't change. I suppose because they're quite specific, aren't they? GameCube on, we got Peaceful Horror. Definitely going to try the bonus music. I tell you what, let's put a string of them in. I imagine Heartbeat's going to be the same. Silence. Should be Silence. Peaceful. Horror. We've got to be equidistant or it's not going to work. So bonus music, I imagine this is going to work. Character selection screen. That's awesome. That's really cool. Always really like that tune. Heartbeat's the same. Not surprising. Silence is the same. You know what that is, don't you? I believe that's the ending music. Horror is the same. I wonder whether there's anything else that's going to stand out. No. No. Don't imagine that's going to do anything different, but we'll give it a go. No. Um... Beep, I don't think is going to do anything different again. No. Uh, can you do Morton Roy with r wings? Also put blocks on the roof so Roy can fall from the floor. Interesting idea, Lost Soul. The Lost Soul, rather, sorry. Um, I'll tell you what, let's create a specific room, shall we? I'm thinking, why can't I see any parts? Silly sod that I am. Nope. Let's create a room that should... It should scroll stop, shouldn't it? Why isn't it scroll stopping? Is it because of you? There we go, scroll stop. Right. So we can have some random music going on as well. But yes, let's see whether Morton drops from the ceiling. You know, I might get rid of some of these bits of music because they're starting to get a little tiresome. Okay, so Morton doesn't jump, uh, drop from the ceiling. I suppose maybe that might add a little too much complication. Maybe. I can't say. I'm not a game designer. Get rid of all that just for <laughs> our sanity. Okay. Where are you? You're over there. Okay. So let's try Morton with wings. Because I can't remember if we tried that. I think we did. Another Morton, then. So Morton with wings, and we're in a ceiling. Oh! Oh, he delays! I'm guessing that's random as well. Yeah, he can come straight down. Or he can fake you out. Cheeky, cheeky little sausage, isn't he? And I died. Um, oh, let's I've scrolled up to try and keep someone on there. Roy, do Roy. Let's do Roy briefly just to see if it is any different with Roy. Here I go. 
Bumps out of the floor. No, it looks like he's only going to come out of the floor. Let's give him wings and see what he does then. Guessing he's going to like... Oh! Oh! Again, fake out and then jumps out with wings. That's really good. That's really good. A few more jumps as well. Oh! He came out of the ceiling! Is that maybe because... I wonder if that's because he's taken damage. Because they do seem to behave slightly differently when they take damage. Or maybe it's just random. Let's find that out. So, is he going to drop from the ceiling ever? Come on. Come on. Drop from the ceiling. Drop from the ceiling, sunshine. Yes! But is that just because he's got wings? Let's find out. Here I go. Oh, you toe rag. Come on then. Do your upside down -y thing. So pleased that works though, because that's... You know, the whole sort of falling from the ceiling was kind of his whole shtick, wasn't it? Same with Morton, I suppose. Morton and Roy basically being, Yes, he can! You don't need, you don't need wings on him. He'll just do it. Go to the ceiling. Go to the ceiling! I wonder if he's more likely to go, uh, to fall from the ceiling if you're, if you've taken damage off him, or if it's just entirely random. Seeming entirely random. Hey, there's my boy. Boink. That's good fun. Um, can you outrun the cursed key? Asks question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. That's an interesting idea. However, someone has also just said it's not in chat um, because it's been auto flagged for some reason. Can you put them in pipes? Hmm. They did specify Wendy, because obviously that was what her whole boss fight was about. Wendy doesn't seem to want to go into... ...horizontal pipe, but what about a vertical one? Or if we just put a nearer pipe, will she use it? Let's try a floor of pipes. Let's get rid of that, because that lead somewhere. No! Alex, you're forgetting all the hotkeys. And I think that's one of the things a lot of people have complained about. Um, I'll tell you what, I didn't try putting her in a basic one, no. What about if she's half in? No, she just doesn't spawn, which makes sense. Doesn't look like she's going to use any pipes, which is a bit of a shame. Hmm, yeah. Let's try taking, taking her for some damage. Unless the pipes also have to be above, which seems unlikely but not impossible he's still on copy Alex they need to be higher really don't they I must admit I'll tell you what this is a very inefficient way of doing it How many was it? Not that I think it matters, but still. Go on, Wendy, do your thing.
Come on. No, I think they've had to change Wendy because she was too specific. Knackers. That is a, a right blooming shame. Okay, we're going to take a very short break now. Like, five minutes. In fact, oh good god, no, it's um, one o'clock. Okay, we're going to take sort of a five to ten minute break now. Um, I will be back as soon as I can, but I desperately need some lunch. And I'm going to have some soup. It's going to be delicious. Maybe I'll come back with it and continue the stream. I don't know. But anyway, we will be back in just a moment. So don't go anywhere. Cheerio, bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little spammy thing. Oh, the um, thing's gone to dark mode. There we go. So yes, I just thought, seeing as I've got nothing better to do, I might as well just eat my soup and chat to you. So why don't we have a little chin wag outside of the game? So tell me, have you got any questions? <laughs> I feel I can't really target any one individual person because there's so many people here, which is wonderful, but still, soup. Hmm. People have said you are very scary. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of the point. Ah. Uh. I don't know how loud it ended up being. I wasn't looking at the levels, but I imagine it was pretty blooming loud because I can do that yet. Yeah, Geneva got it. Yep, yeah, Monty Python. Only the best. Hmm. If anyone was looking for some ASMR soup eating, then you've got it. Let's me just uh, bring the microphone even closer and you, you talk very softly when you do ASMR, don't you? And then you go... <laughs> God, that was hotter than I anticipated. Let's leave it at that, eh? Let's say, let's, 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 let's not say we did it and just pretend it's, uh, just pretend it's, it didn't happen. Oh, Bede has asked, where did you come up with the greatest intro? Hello there, lovely people. Honestly, it was basically off the top of my head the first video I did. Um, the first video that I actually presented. I did um, a couple of uh, couple of video reviews beforehand. And um, <laughs> it was, um, yeah, it was just, I just want, I thought to myself, I want a catchphrase. And I came up with that. And I think it was kind of stupid. It still is kind of stupid, but people seem to like it. I suppose it's very iconic now because it's used so often. If you say something, if you say something often enough, it stops sounding stupid. Hmm. What's this? Give me your soup. No. This is chicken soup. What is... What's my favourite... What's your favourite food? That's tricky. I absolutely adore Thai green curry. It's one of my favourites. Um, I prefer to Thai red, just because I like the spiciness. I love spicy food. Um, I really don't know. I love so many different foods, you know? I really, really love food. Like, painfully love it. In all its forms. Hmm. Paul, I can see the deleted messages. Oh, you've already... T I was about to say, feel free to time them... Give them a timeout. Nice one. You're doing an excellent job, by the way, Paul, and thank you, uh, Gonzalo, as well. Share you. Um... <laughs> I've just seen your message as well. Good, so good lord, I've got a lot of notifications. One of them's Gumtree. Can't remember the last time I used Lum uh, Gumtree. Oh, my other half is asking how the um, how the live stream went. It's still going. I'm gonna let her know. Still going. And I hope you all are enjoying it, even um, you know, with this little bit of downtime and stuff. <sighs> oh. Joginder Singh Sohal, apologies for the pronunciation, has asked, pizza or lasagna? I love them. I love them both. For very different reasons. I think I'm more likely to... Lasagna is more of a sit-down thing. It's more of a sit-down meal, whilst pizza can be eaten anywhere, which I love. Ah, I love them for the different reasons. This is the problem. They say, like, what's your favourite food? <laughs> foods. Um, are you trying to say you don't say hello there, lovely 
per politics for, well i sorry i don't understand what you're saying um um i thought i would catch a stream before school starts says owen you've tuned in to alex playing super mario maker with a soup break i'm eating it straight out of the pot because i am a fiend hmm Geckotron3000 is asking how I say scone. It depends on how I'm feeling, but generally scone. Very occasionally I'll accidentally say scone, which is weird. Oh, bloody hell, you beast. I know I'm a beast, baby. Um, Sorry, I'm just trying to look through some of my notifications because there are a lot here. Let me see if there's anything important from work. Um, Nope. Excuse me. But um, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what might be um, interesting, because obviously we don't really do a lot of streaming. But if you'd like us to do more streams in the future, me and or Xeon, then do let us know. And I think the best way to do it would be probably um, to tweet us at Nintendo Life. Um, I'll put the... Uh, so if you tweet us at Nintendo Life, i tell you what, no, I'll get you a URL. That's even better. And just uh, just say, really enjoy the stream, hope you do some more, or something like that. Um, because there's a lot of people in the chat, obviously, but the thing is, is there's also a huge number of you, huge number of you, excuse me, who are the silent majority. And you are, you're the people who pay the bills. So if you want to take a moment to just tweet something quickly, if you don't have Twitter, then uh, do something else. If you just tweet Nintendo Life there, let us know, um, because you could be doing it in the chat, but then the chat would just fill up, and tweets are a little bit more, a little bit easier to digest. It sounds strange, but it makes a lot of sense to us. The Shaggy Fish saying, says, are you playing Sonic? Yes. Sonic the Soup Hog. Bit dribbly. Hmm. Oh, Paul's suggesting streaming the Ninjala beta together. And um, if you're wondering why I said beta and not beta, that is the British pronunciation, um, well, at least one of them. This is the thing, language is a very funny beast, and people have had a lot of, uh, people have had a go at me. It hasn't really come up in this stream, though, probably because I haven't really said it much, but for saying Mario with a short A rather than Mario, both are perfectly acceptable. And I've got a degree to prove it. I've got a degree in linguistics. Hmm. That reminds me, actually, my uni got in touch... They want to do a profile on me. They need a photo. I should probably do that. But as it stands, I've got soup to eat. Hmm. Sam CT says, I say beta and I'm British. Again, perfectly acceptable. Both are perfectly acceptable pronunciations. The, the word is thousands of years old. There's going to be some variation. That's just how language is. You wouldn't, you know, sort of argue with somebody from France... You know, you say you you know have a long stick of bread, and you say this is a this is a um, a baguette or a baguette. They are slightly different pronunciations. Um, they say um, no, 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 it's, it's a baguette, baguette. Slight difference of variation. When you go, no, that's not how you pronounce it. It's it's different, and it's the same between even variations of English. There are slightly different pronunciations. It's just how it is. Get over it. I know most of you aren't going to be like that. Mm. Now people are talking about baguettes. I think I was thinking about it because a crusty baguette and chicken soup, even just a cheap chicken soup like this, chicken, no uh, not the chicken noodle, cream of chicken soup. Cream of chicken soup. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, really good. Really good. Reminds me of um, school, actually. Although the soup would be thicker than this and very gelatinous and not very nice. But it was it was warm. Hmm. Mind Combatant has brought up an interesting point saying, I don't think it's justified to mispronounce a name, though. That's different than a word. That is a fair point and a fair argument. However, if you wanted to get really particular, you would pronounce um, in the end. My Italian pronunciation is awful. So if there's anyone with, um, you know, sort of knowledge of Italian at all, please feel free to correct me. But in Italian, it would be Mario or Mario. 
And you know what's interesting about that? It's not an a, ah, and it's not an r, ah, and it's not a, it's not a, it's not a. R. Um, <laughs> it's it's a different pronunciation again. Even no names are the same. For the same reason that for me, my name is Alexander. If I went over to um, Poland, or um, or Russia, or you know, sort of many other Euro uh, Eastern European countries, they wouldn't say my name. They wouldn't say Alexander. They would say Alexander or something to that effect. They would change that slightly. It doesn't. It, it, it's it's you know, language is extremely extremely flexible. Hmm. Hmm. Joe Copeland, can you do some more online, please? I missed it. Yeah, sure. Do you mean the um, the world stuff? Please do clarify. Because I'll happily do either. Hmm. Hmm. And Gonzalo's come up with uh, Alexandre in Portugal. I don't know if that's it's probably not how it's pronounced at all. I see R-E and my immediate, immediate thought is like a French, uh, French pronunciation, which is wrong. Uh, what's the music that plays at the end of a Super Mario Bros. 2 level? Damn good idea, Ethan. As soon as I finish this soup, well, have a nosy. Could have a nosy now, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Sam CT. You've actually got the sort of the... the written pronunciation of Mario as I pronounce it. Bang on! You have no idea how many people put... People spell it M-E-R-I-O, and th that would be Mario. That's not even close. It it tickles me and slightly annoys me, but mainly tickles me. Hmm. Hmm. Joe Copeland means super worlds. We'll have a little bit more of that as well, because we did some of that earlier in the stream, but let's have a little bit more. Uh, Mick Duffy is asking, how do you say cookies and do you guys have an Insta? Nintendo Life does indeed have an Instagram account. I think I technically do. I don't think I've ever used it. Um, and how do I say cookies? I say cookies. But I generally don't. We generally say biscuits. Which I know is a different thing in America as well. It's like a sort of a... almost like a scone. Almost like a scone. I know it's not the same. Hmm. Revenel, Re Revenel, sorry, um, R-E-V-N-L-17 says frog soup, pea balloon, and acorn all have different behaviours in night ground. Oh, lordy, I'm going to have to try that out. Lucas Jones says Oreo or Oreo. <laughs> Oreo. 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 Like the word or, as in this or that, or EO. Super worlds. Super. Super worlds. Hmm. I think I'm just going to down the rest of this soup. This will give me all the energy I need. Hmm. <sighs> oh, that was nice. Pop that somewhere out of the way. Oh. So that it doesn't get in the way. Okay. Oh, I'm a platypus. One, two, three, four says, what flavour soup? It was cream of chicken soup. Let me just make sure that everything's still lined up and everything. Yep, stream's looking good. Um, yeah. All good. Right, let's uh, d dive right back into things, eh? Right back in. Right, I'm going to very quickly see what it um, sounds like when you complete a world in the with the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom. As it should be. As it should be. So what do we got? Uh, do you say... Ah! Interesting one from insert name. Do I say bourbon or bourbon? Depends on what you're talking about, because in the UK we have a, a chocolate biscuit called a bourbon. But the drink, the whiskey, is bourbon. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. <laughs> um, ooh! Baby Maharaja! Making courses is a nightmare with a checkpoint rule and has donated two dollars. Thank you very much. Two US dollars as well. Because there's many kinds of a dollar in this world. Um, what was the other thing I was going to check? The nighttime theme. I'm going to check that very quickly. Don't worry. I'm going to have a look at the... Um, uh, all the gubbins. I wonder what the... Don't tell me that the bosses behave differently as well. 
Um, nah, bosses behave the same. That's actually a weight off my mind, because that would be a, that's another another thing to have to deal with. Okay, let's get rid of that the bomb. Have a really quick nosy at the new power-ups and what they do. I'm guessing... Same music for the Super Mario Bros. 2 mushroom, and I'm guessing they're not they're not gonna behave differently because it's it's too unique. That was very confident in me, wasn't it? So let's try Super Mario Bros. 3, turn that into a froggy suit. Frog suit doesn't seem to be behaving differently. Maybe it does with water. I have to try that with a water theme. I tell you what, why don't we come back to this? We'll have a properly good look at it then, rather than just, you know, doing a quick nosy. And instead, let's go to Course World and play another little bit. Should we carry on with the same world? I'm going to carry on with the same world. Super worlds! And it remembers. It remembers. It's like, boy, do you want to continue and I'm like yes I do sir that's not a level that's been done um oh which one do I do should I go down or should I go right let me know in the comments you decide don't spam it too much although do um oh the real deal film review says hi Alex Toadette is a good choice I wish you could play as piranha plant me too um ice cream or sorbet horses for courses Ice cream is very, um, comforting, but sorbet is very refreshing. Depends on how I feel. Um, down, I'm seeing right, down, right, down, right, down. It sounds like a cheat code. Down, down, right, right, down, right, down, right, right, down, down, down. I think down has just about got it, just about. Obviously, you're going to be hearing that delayed, so the, the things are still going to be happening. But I, I'm going down. Sobel said left. I'm not going left. Ah! James Gum uh, Gumbly has donated £1.99 and has said, Finally on my lunch break, hope you're safe and well. Thank you very much. I am indeed safe and well. In that order. What is this level called? Um, excellent Escape. Okay, so... I can go through that door and I'm guessing that just takes me there. Let me know all about that. Ooh. Get out of there, Yoshi. There we go. Hey, hey. Ah, you need to get Yoshi to the end. Makes sense. So I'm guessing... Oh, I can't lick, can I? But I can. Come on. Kaboom! Power block. Hmm. I must admit, I don't deal with power blocks very often. Did that do anything? Doesn't look like it. It's like a little puzzle room, this. Okay, so there's... Hmm, curious. Can the power block activate that? No. What do I to do? What about if I go through this door? Is that going to reset anything? It resets the puzzle. Okay. You're probably all screaming at me, telling me exactly what it is I need to do. But you know what? I'm going to do this at my own pace. Ah ha 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 ha! Get off the Yoshi! There we go. I have twigged it. I have twigged it indeed. You don't use the power block as a power block. You use this as a little stepping stone. And it doesn't help you at all. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think I need the I think I need the green Yoshi for that. So then What do I do? Clearly I need the power block for something, but I can't see what. Ah I think I've got it. Drop this. Hey, he's a 
at Spicy Man. Oh, come on! Do we need to go through the door with Yoshi? That's not going to change anything, is it? Oh, well, I'll try it just in case there's a mechanic I've not considered. It's entirely possible. So, you just... Blair. 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 That doesn't reset it, does it? I hope not. Go. Let's see what Yoshi can do from this angle. Ah, it does make a difference. I don't think that did make a difference. Oh, shows what I know. If you get Yoshi boy. Ah. Yoshi doesn't want to seem to hatch. I'm guessing because there's already a Yoshi about. Maybe? Hmm. Let's try going through this door to reset it. Hmm. No, you know what I reckon? I reckon... We've got to... Something there, shiny. Oh, that's the that's the end. That's the end there. Hmm. Let's destroy that. And make maybe then giving him a power block to rest on. Yeah, Yoshi boy. Yeah, I have to go through there, so I've got to get a power block again. Come on. Hey! Ah! Oh, you're joking. Come on. Give me the pow. Give me the pow. Oh! Yoshi, you're going over here. You're a liability. Let's go! There we go. Oh, someone said eat the key with Yoshi. I know. The thing is... I had to get through the door before I could do that. Because the wall, it, you can't go through. Um, Dr. Alan Thomas on Twitter has said, enjoying a quick linguistics lecture from Alex Olney or Alexander on his Mario Maker stream. Yeah, because... Oh my god, the fastest time was 35 seconds. That's embarrassing. Oh well. Uh, eat the Yoshi. Bit late for that. Right, let's have a nosy at this. What world is this? This is, um, super... Kaito world. Super Kaito world. I do wish you could name them properly. Whee! What's this called? Um, Bloody Biters. Ah, oh, those bloody biters! It's almost like bloody blighters. Up you go. Whee! In we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> ah. Okay, I'm safe here, and I just wee Simple pimple. No need to be worried. Scary music. Jackson Levell says, Hi, I'm new. Hi, Jackson. Ah, I didn't even look. I didn't even look. Good lordy. Do you have to complete your world before you can verify it and post it? Asks Ethan uh, Wojtka. I don't know. That's a very good point. Hide in here. Oh. Yeah, you go down there. So all I need to do jump over you. That was bloody close, actually. I thought I was gonna... Oh, Monty... I didn't even know that was possible. So I'm guessing we have to... Key door's up there, so... Yes, I do need to 
get that Monty Mole as far over there as possible. Hop! Skip and jump. Right through. No sweat. Another little checkpoint. Splendid! Oh. Ah! Ah! Run! <laughs> Run! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was great! That was really excellent! I don't like that there's a checkpoint before it because it means I'm less likely to die. Come on! Ah! Come on! Go through. I don't know if you're supposed to... Ah! No! No, you little devil! Oh, this has gone up in difficulty. The rest of this level was really quite simple. Not to worry. Not to worry. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Hop, 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 and hop. Jump. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. They thought they were going to get me, but they didn't. Dire Dire Box is going to be my world when I make it. Sorry, Caps Lock, says Jackson Levell. Splendid. Good to know. Can you share worlds, and if so, how? Uh, asks Noah Christen uh, Christensen. Yes, you can. This is not my world. At all. This is just available online. And it's a blooming good one, I'll tell you that for free. Oh, this tune. Oh. Incidentally, uh, I hope you're all staying uh, safe out there. All of you. Very sensible that you do. And at the end of the day, you, would, you wouldn't want to be non-sensible, would you? What just happened? What is this? Bone booster. It's letting me know how it all works. Okay, so you got to time it. I wasn't even paying attention to the spiny up there. God, that's fun. That's such a fun idea. Bone Booster! <laughs> what a ludicrous concept. Yay! How did this one person come up with so many clever ideas? I mean, no doubt they didn't come up with all the ideas themselves. I'd be very surprised if that was the case. Ooh. That went far better than I thought. I could do with a little, uh, little checkpoint, please. <laughs> well, I got my checkpoint. I missed all the coins, but I, I, of all the things to not hit, coins is pretty good. I'm getting my timing down on this. Hey, hey. It's fun. The whole game is just pressing A at the right time. And it's still fun. The guy who made this really knows his stuff. Me, on the other hand, I know nothing, apparently. God, dear. Oh. oh, my back's getting a bit sore as well, actually. Whee-hee! There's a little delay on this one so that you don't just... What? Bow! Ah, too early. Too early. Rats. This is the one. Cabal. And there's this one. This one's nice and easy. Hey, hey. One last one. Okay, so there really isn't a big margin. Hey, hey, hey! But he gets it anyway. Because he can press A at a certain time. B even, I'm pressing B. <laughs> that was quite pleasing. I should have gone to the top. There's actually a useful reason to do it. 
Level 1 Eevee has donated two dollars, US dollars. Thank you very much. I know who that is as well. Hello, George. <laughs> Old friend of mine from, uh, well, where I still currently live, but he lives in America now. Because they had better sandwiches. No, he, he, ma <laughs> he married his girlfriend. And she lived in America. So he went over there. Hello, George. How are you? I'm guessing I should be waiting, perhaps, a little. Hmm. Uh, Tribal Island Joe Tama, Joe Tojama even, has asked whether you need to, um... Okay, so that one's automatic. But this one isn't. Has asked whether you need to upload, and then has very rudely said, answer my question in all caps, but we'll forgive him this time. Um, I don't know, is the honest answer. I suppose there'll be one way to find out, which... Oh, what's down there? Probably nothing, it's probably just scenery, but... Same kind of thing as before! Oh, 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 oh. But not exactly, and then there's a little door that falls down using an icicle. I never would have even thought of that. there. Hey! And now I'm just holding the Y button and it's just doing the whole thing for me. Splendid, splendid. Marveloso Splendido Hotelo. Cool! Excellent. Oh! Guess what my eye was drawn to in the chat. If you're the person who posted it, you know who you are. It was just... It's Sasha Stone, my partner. She's just left a little love heart. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Um, how's quarantine been treating you, Alex? Overall, not bad. Not bad at all. It's um, been... Uh, it's, it, I miss going into public spaces more than anything else. Well, I help. I have a feeling I messed something up there. Ah, oh, no, it's the trees I've got to use. Okay. I'm guessing I have to hold right as well, then. Honestly, what kind of a man do you think I am? I can't hold right and up. Or maybe it just didn't work as it was supposed to, <laughs> which is possible. Hey, hey, and I'm through. Was I answering a question? B Man XY says, Can you pronoun pronounce my name? Who knows? Well, do you do, I suppose. Let's go over. I'm trying to look at the chat, and. Oh, that was a silly thing to do. John Montgomery says, Can I have a shout out, please? No. Yes, of course you can. Hello, John Montgomery. I've always loved that surname. And I suppose it's a first name as well, isn't it? Montgomery. Whee! Over we go. It happened again. I can't help but feel that maybe this system is not completely... Ah, that was all me. That was all me that time. <laughs> Surprising amount of people are asking me to pronounce their names. Which is unusual. Ah, I can spin and get myself some extra height. Well, not extra height per se, but... Ah. But yes, oh, quarantine, yes. I miss going out in public spaces. That's what I miss more than anything else, really. Oh, you... Oh! 
hiding things from me. Um, oh, someone's asked what happens when you run out of lives in a world. I really don't know. I suppose we're probably going to have to check. Unfortunately, I've got 29 of them. Nats! Nats! Mangoes says, do you like bacon? I do indeed. Oh, I pressed up. Too late, apparently. Too late. Way. Oh! Jarrett Coulson just said, I just subscribed. Thank you, Jarrett. I'm very pleased you subscribed. That was much easier that time. Oh! Oh! There we go. Come on. Oh, for a second I thought I was out of juice. There are these secret little things at the bottom and I don't know where to... And I got a one-up as well. Yeah, I've got way too many lives to see which... Um, see what happens. Which Koopling is your favourite? Which Koopling is my favourite? I don't know, Ludwig? I quite like... Quite like Ludwig. Ludwig. I like his hair. And he looks like Ludwig van Beethoven. Because that's who he's named after. This is the update we never knew we needed, said uh, Tomo the Lomo 1527. I think a lot of people have been asking for this, actually, myself included. Ooh. I've got a coin. This person's very good at making interesting little mechanics. Okay. And bonus points for doing it on the 3D world style, because that's one of my favourite styles. Slightly underused. I think it's definitely the best looking. Okay, so bullet bill. There we go. Now I'm just holding A and it's playing it for me. Except this is actually quite entertaining, unlike all those ones. Oh, SurvivorCon Gaming has said gamers and has donated £1.99. Thank you very much. What's interesting, there doesn't seem to be a one-up limit like there was before. Ah. Was that the end of the world? Hey, I did it! That was pleasant. Very pleasant. Weird peach sprite and all. World clear. Ow. I just hit the microphone. Or at least a part of it. Ow. That was really, really joyful. I really enjoyed that. Help, 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 help. Can I give some likes? Apparently not. Oh, there we go. A rocket person. Interesting. Uploaded courses, liked courses. I might give them a star. Does that mean favoriting? Yes, follow. There we go. I did some very good stuff. Um, their... Can I see their user, their maker ID anywhere? Mm, nope. Why can't I see their maker ID? I've n I must admit, I have no idea where it is. It's been so long, I've completely forgotten. Maybe, maybe you can't see it and they can only share it themselves. But it does have... Ah! Excuse me. It does have just their, their super world there. And you can play together or play. Marvellous. Uh, someone's just going to recreate the entire Super Mario World game. Quite possibly. Um, as much as they can, at the very least. 
Let's see. Yeah, 35,000 likes. No wonder the stuff is good. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to press a remix button, which is the X button. Wow! bow see if we get some new ones. Ooh, 12,000 Super Rimoko. Super Nami World. Let's see what we've got. I'll tell you what, let's... Remix again. I'm guessing my Maker Profile doesn't have anything on it. You can now play... Um, you can now view Played Worlds! You can continue playing a Super World from where you left off. Try playing new Super Worlds made by different makers too. Oh, that's so good! Just got one, but yeah. That's really good. That's really good. So if in theory I hadn't finished that and I accidentally press X or something and get a load of new worlds, it doesn't just completely disappear. Good lord, 329,000 likes. Their world is short, but let's have a pop, eh? And then we'll see what the, um... What's with all the dancing frogs? Didn't even know they were a thing. I mean, that's the, um... The sound effects frog, isn't it? From the thing. Reach the goal after grabbing at least 350 coins. This is gonna be a small world. I'm just... I'm not going to press any buttons. That doesn't work. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I find these a little dull. They're extremely well crafted, but... They're not... There's no challenge. Once you've seen one, you've kind of seen them all. It's a very well-made level. Very well-made, but... I've seen it all. I've seen it all. Yeah. Meh. That coin at the end, though, that's a good one. It does say it's an auto Mario level, so I suppose. Uh, Tro Troy Vries, or Vries, says, How are you doing, Alex? I'm doing well, thanks. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Splendidly well. Oh. Lift speed run number 10. 20 seconds. Do I actually have to do anything this time? Apparently. I need a big, big screen that just says sucker over my face whenever something like that happens. Right, okay, I see how this is going to go down then. I see how this is going to go down. I wasn't even playing. My, I, I was blindfolded. My little, bu my little brother had the controller. Jarrett Coulson says, "Throw the snowball." Yeah, I knew. Uh, good thing you have those extra lives, isn't it? Just okay. So, hmm. I do think. I do declare. I do declare. We should maybe. Um, Try out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get, uh, get rid of a load of lives. I'm gonna try and find a, a world that has only a handful of lives available. This one should be quite simple, at least. Oh, useful trash. Um, more Danish Krona. Twenty. Gotta go. Have a lovely day, y'all. Thank you very much, useful trash. Very much appreciated. 
So, Peach is there. It's a strange looking world. Um, let's try this out. 50 lives! I've just seen I've got 50 lives. I can't do it with this one. I can't. We'll be here forever. We'll be here for more, longer than forever. Oh, um, quit. Yes. <laughs> what will the M icons mean, if anything? Probably nothing. Super Gustav Game World. I do wish you could name them, rather than just being your name, you know? Name them, like Super Brilliant World, Super Knickers World, anything, you know. Und. I think he might be German. From the name and the flag. How many lives have I got? 30 lives. What? Oh great, so now I'm stuck. Ha. Ha. I just want to see what happens when you lose all your blooming lives. Whether you go back to that world or go back to... Oh. Andrew Montgomery has asked for a shout out and Andrew Montgomery will get a shout out. Partially because your name is so much fun to say. Hello, Andrew Montgomery. Montgomery. It's just... It just flows so nicely. Montgomery. Montgomery. I could explain why. It's because of the way that the, you produce words in your mouth. Um... 30 lives. I like the ninjas in the water. They're adorable. Oh! You can listen. Listen. What's going on here? I think I vaguely recognise this one. What's this called? I can't read that. Is this loss? going on. Donny Dudzin... Donny Dudzinski says, Alex is such a lovely person. Thank you very much. That's very sweet. Ah. Beware is asking if this is Super Mario Maker 1 or 2. Super Mario Maker 2. Or I would be um, annoyed. Oh! Uh, Celesti Arix says, or Arex, has donated two, uh, two dollars and has said, we love you, Alex. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Let's see. I'm just, I'm kind of tempted to upload my own world. Just so I can see, because these are offering way too many lives. Way, way, way too many lives. I suppose it would... Makes sense. Let's go to World Maker and make something super simple, like mega, mega simple. Um, I could do it from World Bot. Create a brand new one. Make new Super Mario World. What was the? Um, I saw a load of people with a load of like um, decorative things. Ah, uh, the bridge stays the same. That can be water. I like the idea of... Everything... Set a course, because I definitely saw... Change course. Oh, it's probably because that's the final castle. And you can't change it. Let's change that to some... There's a super bell things. 
Okay, so I'm just going to upload this. Uh, I think this is why. Everything, the default is, um, that works. I'll just do that. Something really mega, mega simple, but with one lives. Ah. Save as. Easy peasy. Do, do, do. Now I think we go to world bot. Upload. Didn't have to verify. That's interesting. Unable to upload. At least one course has not been uploaded to Course World. So I'm guessing if all of your... I'm guessing they have to have been uploaded to Course World. They have to be available online. Which kind of makes sense. That's interesting. Okay. Now let's go to... I suppose my profile, which is not going to be in the play guide. Let's go to Course World. Oh, William VK said, please play my course. Alex, go on then. Go on. Um, let's have a quick look at my world. As rubbish as it is. Play. I've got no medals in this version of the game either. Brah. Super NL Alex. What? There's no water. Ah, a water thing's hidden. That'd be really cool. Okay, the angry wiggler monorail. So what happens when I lose all my lives? Oh no! Game over. And I'm guessing it's going to send me right back, isn't it? To the start. I haven't lost any progress, but then again, I've not made any progress, so... Maybe it doesn't actually throw you back to the start of the world or anything. It just means that you've lost all your checkpoints and everything. Which would be kind of annoying, but mm, yeah, it's fine. I'm doing the secret. Boom! Read it out with me now. Well, just read it out to yourself, actually, because it'd be... I've already started talking. Hello, they're lovely people. And that doesn't actually get, I've just remembered, that doesn't actually get me any closer. Just make it nice and simple. It's supposed to be one time use things. They kind of work. <sighs> Incidentally, if you want to play my world, well, it appeared on screen briefly, didn't it? You're more than welcome to have a pop. Have a pop at it. Even though it's two levels. Two blooming levels. It's not, it's not a world. It's barely even an island. Come on. Oh, I suppose I could just cheese it. That's something I didn't consider. Ah, yes, that was. No, that is a different mechanism. and That's intentional. Ha ha ha. Ah! And I've only got one life! Oh no, I must have picked one up. Hey, hey, wee. My life isn't a lie. Oh, my life is a lie. <gasps> ah. I just want to see, I just want to see if you maintain progress beyond the individual levels. Go on, off you go. There we go. Do, 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 diddly do, 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 diddly do, do, diddly do, do. Come along. Incidentally, I'm curious to know, how 
am I doing at live streaming? Because obviously I don't do it very often. However, I am used to prattling on for a very long periods of time. And I'm curious to know whether I'm doing a good job. I'd really like to know. Um, and do be honest if I'm not talking enough or if I'm talking too much. I don't watch a lot of streams myself, so I don't understand the etiquette or what is indeed expected. So any feedback would be greatly appreciated. Hoppity over. Hoppity over. It'll take about 10 or 15 seconds for that message to get through. And then I can start... Ah! Hey! I can start reaping some of the feedback. No! For God's sake, Alex! For God's sake! Uh... Brownie hugs. Quite enjoying you. Doing a really good job. Your live stream is good as Dr. John Campbell. I don't know who that is. But thank you. You're talking about the perfect amount. Thank you. They should change Alexa voice to Alex. <laughs> uh, how did you do that bullet bill contraption? I honestly can't remember. Honestly can't remember. Uh, Rev, uh, RevNL17 asks, is this your first time? Couldn't tell by how well you're doing. Thank you very much. Um, and it's not technically my first time, but I just, I really don't stream very often at all. Like, ever. Mainly because, um, it's, uh, difficult to monetize, honestly. And seeing as this is a job of mine, it needs to be financially viable. I thought this would work, though, this current thing better as a live stream just because it's more long more more a longer video you know something where you people can just zone out and sort of dip in whenever they want and also um allows people to uh, if they want to binge it and watch the whole thing they can and it's simpler and because there's so much to cover i thought a slightly more informal sort of chatter rooney with you lot would be, um, more pertinent. Oof. Ha! Ooh! Ha! Ha! Hop, 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 hoppity, hop, 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 hop. Say in the chat with me now. Hoppity, hop, 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 hop. Gah! Ah, too close. There we go. Wahoo. Use Roy in a level. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, oh. Waboom! Yes, everyone's saying hot. Excellent. <laughs> Chatter Rooney. Chatter Rooney indeed. Everyone loves a little Chatter Rooney. Uh, do you make music? Notice you have sound treatment in the background. No, that's just purely for recording like this. Um, because it does take some of the... I mean, that uh, the background is rubbish for this. It's just my camera, a light, and some stuff. That's really cool! Did you just see that? I wasn't paying full attention. I'm gonna watch it on the... Yeah, it rises out of the water! Okay. So now I've completed that level. I'm going to lose my one life. See whether I just lose progress in this level. Before boss challenge rush. And then we'll um, see whether I've lost any progress. There's no point getting one. Bananetica said, how much should I donate? You don't have to donate, mate. If you want to, that's colossally appreciated. But nobody should feel they have to. Oh no, I died. <laughs> um, Jamzy said... I must have got so many lives before. Uh, Jamzy said, as a British person, I can confirm that crumpets aren't that good. You are a fiend. Crumpets are wonderful. Crumpets are okay with jam, my fellow Brit, says Sapphire Yoshi. Um, no, j uh, crumpets are best with um, 
layer, layer of butter. Not too thick, but not too thin either, because it'll dissolve and disappear. Oh no, I died. Um, little, uh, you know, sort of reasonable layer of butter. Thin layer of Marmite. Medium layer of peanut butter. That's something special. Okay, no. The previous course has still been completed. So you don't lose any progress in that sense. I, like, I really like the fact that there are just bridges in the water. Um, can you mix different types of stages in a world? Example, Mario 1, then Mario 3, then Mario World type levels. You can indeed, William VK. Uh, crumpets are the source of the world word crummy. Paul, I'm going to... I'm going to get very annoyed. As Sasha Stowe, my partner, has said, crumpets are the ultimate butter vessel. They are indeed. Right, I did say, William VK, that I would play your course. Let me scroll back and find it. Um, please, play, please play my course. Yes, I will indeed. Quit playing, yes. <sighs> Air liked the angry wiggler monorail. Thank you, Air. That's something very strange, then. Oh, it's probably just a background object. Never mind. Ignore me. Doesn't matter. Let's put in a course ID. So, F N D M1 K P Q F Searching courses and makers. Here we go. Hawaii Hope in America. I hope this is the right one. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. Let's scroll you down. Uh, Hamza the Great is asking, are you doing viewer levels now? Not necessarily. Just, you know, felt like doing one. I'm just going to do whatever I particular, particularly feel like, to be honest. Oh, gotcha. I should probably have gone through that door, but it's a little late now. Oh, take that. <laughs> oh, I'm through the door. Did that take me backwards? Well, that was rude. Ah, is it because I need to use these blocks, perhaps? Go. No, okay, those blocks have disappeared. Through we go. I'm guessing I've got to use those blocks to get some. Uh, uh, there we go. Over and whoa, under, up, and over, and Bowser. Bye bye, Bowser. I need to collect the coins! I wasn't even paying attention. You're probably all screaming at me in the chat. There we go. I'll just do that because that's simpler. Ooh, someone's asked Marmite or Bovril. I've still never tried Bovril. I'd love to. It's beefy. Bovril is... Ah. Ah, I'm stuck. Is the water going to go high enough to allow me back into the world of the living? Doesn't seem like it. Down I go! Um, the... Uh, yeah, Bovril is actually made from cow. It's kind of bizarre in a way, but at the same time... Oh, you know what? I think the water would have gone high enough. Had to be phenomenally patient. <laughs> I didn't have to be patient that time. Coin. Give me. Hmm. I wonder if I've got to use the cloud, which is going to expire. Ah! The cloud expired. Okay, so the water only goes down once, so I wouldn't have been fine, actually. 
Come on. Ah, oh. oh, I'm stuck. Fall to the floor. I'm gonna give this one more, one more go. One more go. I can't believe I made it so far and then immediately realized that. <laughs> Alex, stop taking damage! Blooper! And I'm boned. Can't do it. I can get to the end. I can get to the end, no problem. Right, let's, um... Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. So there we go. There's the code if you want to have a go at that and do far better than I can. I like the, the constant theme in it. The challenge, I feel like falling down between the pipes should either kill you instantly or it sh or, or, or it, you know it, it shouldn't shouldn't just leave you in the water but apart from that like the level good stuff um you uh, archway nine says you beat me at smash when i was one match away from getting piranha plant and elite smash i've got to say you are the best banjo player i've played thank you very much however i can't get banjo into elite smash <laughs> i really can't um i think I, I i have my moments with banjo but i definitely wouldn't say that i'm absolutely astonishing uh, if you're doing community levels could you try playing mine it's more of a concept level but i think it's cool i'm gonna have a bit of a break from community levels i've just done one i just did it out of curiosity as much as anything um because this is supposed to be mainly about the worlds and i tell you what i'm gonna have a quick look we were looking at some stuff in course maker so let's uh pop back pop back and have a nosy because there were some people saying that uh like the frog suit and stuff works differently at night. I'm going to see what the pea balloon does. Because I think that one will be a little bit easier to work with. It seems... Hang on, they said something about night gr Night ground! Someone else has just mentioned it. Thank you. Right, so let's have a mosey. This seems to be the same. Unless the pea balloon is the exception, but I'm, I'd am i be surprised. Hmm. Let's try... Uh, let's try the frog suit. Yeah, it seems to be the same. Uh, someone's saying don't collect the power-up, but it's the power-ups we're looking at. I knew I was playing around over here, wasn't I? <laughs> um, the power-up item itself, not the player with the power-up. Gotcha. Right. Silly me for thinking I could just... Uh, play without thinking. So that works in the same way. Super Mario Bros. 3. <laughs> That's pleasing. That's very pleasing. The pea balloon used to just appear, didn't it? Now I'm guessing maybe it That's pleasing. And off it goes. <laughs> uh, let's try uh, the acorn mushroom. Do I mean acorn mushroom? Yes, I do. For some reason, I thought I was wrong. Kind of rolls and bounces along. Is it bouncing away from me? Or is it just bouncing randomly? I think it's just moving along like it rolls. Ah, that's fun. I will just double check the um this mushroom. Actually, I don't think I did check it, did I? Or did I? Ah! <laughs> Again, very pleasing. Very pleasing. 
can we uh, do? Because there's also ooh, the rotten mushroom. Does the big mushroom behave differently? I've never checked. It does. It's just um. Ugh. Mm, no, I was about to say, what about if it was uh, the frog suit was uh, then on the water? Hmm. But no, because obviously then it wouldn't be the ground night time, would it? Let's put him in a block, see whether that makes any difference. I don't think it will. And will the... will the... Blummin... these guys, will they behave differently? I, I've just seen that the... How did I not know that the raccoon leaf floats upwards? How did I not know that? Take that. Kapow. I said kep pow Kep pow Yeah. Hmm. They don't seem to um, behave any differently at night, but what about in water? Like, properly underwater, underwater. We are still at night time, which I think affects things. That was weird. Can't see anything mode. Let's, let's take it off night time. Just so we can see. We can have a good look at the frog suit again. Oh my lord, I didn't realise you could move that fast. I never really had it long enough in Super Mario Bros. 3. Wendy seems to behave the same, just slower. Like she's underwater. I'll tell you what will be interesting, though. What's his face? It's just... Get out of the way. No! Whatever. Just go through. Just go through. Can I say Shrek is life? No. Except I just did, didn't I? Ah, oh, oh, the mirth. Um, because, yeah, Wendy isn't going to behave. But Morton... Was it Morton or Roy? It was Roy, wasn't it? Roy did some funky... I'm in the wrong place. Oh, itchy. So Roy does some interesting stuff. He appears. Because actually, yeah, Morton as well, because his um, slam isn't going to do anything, is it? So that's something worth noting. He's going to come out. And very slowly float down. <laughs> we all float down here. I saw that film. First one was good. Second one... No, the first one was very good. Second one didn't really work as well for me. Let's um, try that. In fact, I watched them both as sort of like a double bill. That was um, interesting. It was a special thing. Expensive ticket as well. But, you know, it was an experience. So come on, Morton. What's your stompy stomp gonna do? Oh. Still send fire out? Still sends fire out, but it's slow. Is it gonna stun me as well, though? Ah! Fall faster! Fall faster! Am I gonna be stunned? Yes! Okay. The same as always, except considerably easier, because you can just... Although apparently I can't. actually quite a long invincibility state for him. Oh, he did it again! Oh, the little toe rag threw me off. Apow. And what if they have wings underwater? All these questions need answering. Oh. Same as before. Same as it ever was. Um, let's have a look at Roy now with wings. I don't think it's going to make too much difference underwater. Because didn't he just... Um, he did fake-outs, didn't he? 
Ah, and he jumps out. And then he floats. Okay. Roy could be, uh, quite a tricky little sausage, actually. Ah, this kills the Alex. Gotcha! Hee hee hee. You'll have to do better than that to get me, Mr. Roy. Oh. And once again, down, down, down. Kabow! Easy peasy. Oh, first Dan plays is asked Alex, bread or toast? Again, horses for courses. Different situations demand different kinds of cooked bread once or twice. I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> um, people were asking about the cursed key. Which I can't pick. Oh, it's only in um, Super Mario Bros. style, isn't it? Um, Tyra Tubing says, Hello, Alex. Can't believe I'm catching you live. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it's not something I've done very often in the past. Can you? Yeah, you can make them swallow the key. Oh! Oh, stop bouncing! I need to give you not wings. If you give him a... Oh, parachute's not going to make any difference, is it? Is it? It doesn't make any difference with the others, really, in their behaviour. I took your wings off. I took your wings off! Now land properly. Or we'll have words. There we go. And the cursed key. Alex, make a door so that the key doesn't disappear. How about that for a slice of fried gold? Press the buttons right, Alex. There we go. Now we'll just lightly itch my nose. And again. But this time. Why? I think in the right circumstance, Roy could be quite tricky underwater. Not these circumstances, he's proving to be very easy. Give him the wings. Give him the wings. Maybe give him a chance to start moving around. Yep, Fanto's there. Ah! Fanto's surprisingly quick. But not mega quick. Somebody was asking earlier on, actually, can you outrun Fanto? Let's find out! Let's take this off underwater and put it on ground. And make sure we got a nice clear path. So that we can run freely and without obstruction. There we go. So let's put a cursed key there. Wait for Fanto to appear. There's Fanto. Uh, looks like you can. Ooh, yeah, you can outrun Fanto. I think. Ah! Ah! If, the, if you think it's infuriating or amusing to watch me, imagine what it's like to be me. Constantly making silly mistakes. Come on, Fanto's not even appeared properly. Whee! Now let's see if we can outrun him this way. Yeah, you can outrun Fanto. Let's let him get a bit closer. Good lord, it looks like you really can outrun him. Okay, so, come on. There we go, give him plenty of chance to catch up, and... He gets close. Oh! Ah! Looks like you can and you can't. Hmm, interesting. I need a longer run, really. Hmm. Can't make it much longer, annoyingly. But if anything, that proves that it is. If you get a good run up, you can out easily outrun Fanto. Worth knowing. Ow! 
Another anything special happens if Fanto kills you. That'd be interesting to know. Let's find out. Ow! Can you jump on Fanto? Uh, asks Gotek. Ca you cannot know. Um, Kid Rocker Video says, I can't see the comments you reading. Hopefully you can see that one. <laughs> uh, Chelsea Daniel says, I was only thinking of buying this today, and here I am watching Alex okay it for two hours. Think I'm sold. Message retracted. <laughs> um, Fanto reminds me of something from Majora's Mask. Yeah, it looks a bit like the couple's mask, doesn't it? Just a bit. I love Majora's Mask. But still, oh, blimey. Okay, I tell you what. We're just going to have a very quick break there. I'm going to have a drink. And um, we'll be back shortly for a little bit more Mario Maker delightfulness. Oh, see you soon. Alex is back and he's slightly annoyed. He took the opportunity to get a fresh glass of water and water his chili plants and his uh, coriander and stuff. And he found out the coriander has got bloody aphids again, hasn't it? <sighs> Still, anyway, <laughs> so where were we? Um, I wanted to ask you lovely people what you wanted to see me do next because uh, I think we've kind of covered the new items. Um, but if you want to see me play some more world stuff or play around with the world editor, let me know. You've got to do it in the chat, though. Otherwise, I won't see. If you just say it out loud, I've got headphones on. I can't hear you. What are you thinking? Oh. <clears throat> ah. Uh, Tor uh, Troy Vries says play worlds. Um... Make a Super Mario world like the title says. I have done. Paul says play arms. I would do. World editor. Try out third world. Um, play well, so. Alex, back. World, world editor. Blimey. Um, third level based around the box hats. We've done the box hats previously, I'm afraid. And I don't want to repeat myself too much. Uh, Link, Zelda, Super world, world Maker, play some new levels. I'm getting, um, I'm getting generally World Maker and Play Worlds. So we're going to do some of that. Of course, I can't go through and, uh, check every single comment and tally them up properly. But, um, I tell you what, let's have a look at the different themes, because we haven't really had a proper look at that. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Interestingly, the, um, this one... I wonder if, um, yeah, it expands. So if we go, if we in theory delete, okay, we can't delete that, but we can make the, oh, so we can make two little tiny islands, essentially islands, essentially. That's interesting. So if we were to go, oh, there's water as well. You can still do watery ones. Ah, not quite what I imagined, but, um, still good. Oh, it's... Excuse me. There we go. So if we were to have, in theory, a world there, we could do some, like, little... It doesn't matter what the world is. Um, little sort of disjointed... Um, that's going to have to change, isn't it? So if we were to make that... No, not a bend like that, but a right angle. But not a wet one. And then have one of them there. Put a pipe there. One of them there. Mmm. And we could have... That would involve changing that to... Oh! Changing that to that. That might be easier, actually. Then drag that over there. And we could have one of those there. Which pipe will you choose? Oh, you can only have one pipe. <laughs> um, so that's not going to work. <laughs> um, so change that back to that, I suppose. And then... Ah. 
Doesn't matter which one. We're only dying around. And then one of them like that. And one of them like that. Oh, actually, let's change that to that. And then... Like that. Put the pipe there. One of those bonus things there. Level there. So you got two little, like, separated islands. And then we take this and we add some flavor. What other ones have they got? They've got little things. They've got those. Uh -huh. Little flavor torches. Marvelous. That's quite pleasing. What about the forest? What does the forest look like? Ah, it looks like the forest of illusion. Of course it does. Do -do 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 Let's change that to that and that to that so we can see all the different designs and the different styles. I like the oh hang on if you if we change that to Ah I was hoping they'd join up. The two pools would join up. That's a shame. Oh well, no big deal. Let's have a look at Sky Pretty much what I expected. That's Super Mario Bros. 3 again, that music. Desert. Have we got some more bones? We got a little oasis. We got some pyramids and volcano. We got, ooh, Bowser statues facing in different directions. Excellent. And again, little face. Ooh! Trees. Mountains. Pointy mountain. And. Yeah, it's that thing. It's Undo Dog and the Frog. Weird. But still, ugh. can you change bridges at all? No, they're stuck as they are. Here I go. And you can't see them because they're not joined up. So let's change that to that. Hmm, they're not joined up. Of course they're not, so that's not going to work, Alex! Um, and yeah, they just look like things. But then there was... Ah, there was other stuff as well, wasn't there? There was the icons. You can't... No, you can only have uh, standard pipes, but you can have different... Doesn't matter. Good lord, there's a lot of things. I think I saw these briefly, and I think um, I'm getting a message. Two messages from two chats. Let's have a quick nosy to make sure. Um, oh, hang on. Oh dear. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go just for a brief moment. There won't be any more ads because uh, it's not fair. Just giving you one. Um, but I will be back in just a hot second. Okay. 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 Okay, I'll, I'll be back in a sec. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I don't think I inserted an ad then. I specifically tried not to, but I don't know whether it does it automatically. Um, but hopefully I didn't. But no, important things I needed to attend to. Anyway, so we've got a couple of different um, styles of course things here. Yellow, that's saying, oh, it's a deserty course. It's a wet course. It's a frosty course. It's a woody course. It's a spooky course. 
It's a tall course. It's a one of them courses. A poison course. You can say whatever you like. <laughs> Just had a super chat come through. At least I think so. It may have come through. Um, 2.49 p.m. It's now 2.56. Oh, yes, yeah, so seven minutes ago. I'm so sorry I missed it. It must have been during the break. You've got a name, haven't you? You've got a name that you want me to read out, so I'm going to do it. Thank you for the uh, the two US dollars donation. Uh, asking, what's your favourite 2D and 3D Mario game? My favourite 2D Mario game, I think, is Super Mario World. And my favourite 3D Mario game... Tricky. Tricky. Maybe Super Mario 64? Maybe. It's a very tough call, though. Thank you so much for the contribution and the uh, useful question. My nipples hurt when you twist them. Thanks for that. Um, <laughs> I've just thought, do these have any additional stars to them? Oh, they've got, they've got water versions. Those have that. Do cliffs have... <gasps> cliffs can be clouds! What can they be in snow? They are clouds. What are they in volcano? They're clouds. What are they in desert? They're clouds. What are they in forest? They're clouds. What are they underground? Why would you have a cloud underground? Sky, if they're not a cloud. I, I, if they weren't a cloud, I would have been more annoyed. What does the normal one look like? I'm guessing just a tall... Oh no, it's actually land. Hmm. Ironically interesting. And on ground, it's a cloud. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh dear, we're having some spam in the chat. Exciting, I shouldn't acknowledge it. Um, but uh, Lucanos09 says, I wish I could play the update now, but I have to do online school. You can play the online update when you're done. School is far more important. Get your schoolwork done, then you can play Mario until you vomit. That's the way to do it, yeah? Get your priorities straight and you will be able to be a happy person. Hopefully. There's no guarantees. But uh, that's your best bet, isn't it? Always play the numbers. Uh, C.com says, Purchase Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Why would I? I'll probably get given it for free. Um, what can we do? Can we actually change that? Or is that just um, sort of set a course? Yeah. I wonder if it's because we've only got one world. If we had another world... Let's set the angry wiggle of monorail. And if we go back to world one, it's... Different castle, and can we change... Ah, it can be a castle or an airship! Marvellous! I always like variety. Variety is splendid. Uh, Raphael Alvi... Uh, Al Alavi, sorry has said, I wish you could choose the style of your hub world and add enemies in the middle of the path like in New Super Mario Bros. That would be cool. That would be cool, actually. I suppose you could kind of... kind of do them yourself. I sense trying to make that a reality in Course Maker. Toasterbox GD says, I am sad that I can't play Mario Maker 2. I only have Mario Maker 1. Mario Maker 1 is still an excellent game. Um, but if you do ever get Mario Maker 2, I'm sure you'll, you'll enjoy that as well. As much, if not more. So let's, um, reset Rocket. Three, two, one. Aisling Healy, um, has asked, was I a spoiled child? I don't think so. This is the thing, spoiled people never really know whether they're spoiled. It's kind of a, kind of, sort of a thing. Um, let's bring that's a bit close actually. It's one screen, so let's make it two screens wide. Because then I can just put a big line of blocks there. Um, I don't think I was spoiled. I didn't feel spoiled, certainly not at school. Um, and I don't think I was spoiled. I didn't have a load of games or anything like that. Oh, David White, two New Zealand, uh, uh, two New Zealand dollars. Thank you very much. With a big shiny thing saying, what up? And a hippo or something biting it. Good fun. 
Um, I'm going to attempt to make a little area, like a little sort of a, a not so much a bonus area, but like a the word I'm looking for. Like when you find enemies along the way in um, uh, Mario, Bro uh, Mario Bros. 3 and stuff like that. I'm only going to make it very simply. It's not going to be mega refined or anything like that, but like a little thing. So you go in and there's a couple of Hammer Bros. or something. Something classic. Let's get some... Oh, I have got ground block. No, I haven't. I've got cloud blocks. I want... Our block. So if we... My instinct says about there. There we go. And I give them, I suppose, pink coins. Two of them if we get two of those. Uh, where are the hammer bros? Hammer bros is just the classic. That's too high, isn't it? That seems... that seems right. Of course you can do whatever you like with it, so... Hammer Brother... Why can't I give him a coin to hold? Um... Oh, Ashling Healy has uh, corrected my pronunciation. Sorry about that. I uh, said, will you shave your head for a video? <laughs> no thanks. I really like my hair. Uh, when you place one of the uh, blocks, it sounds like it says mine blocks. I suppose it does a bit. Um, set it as a rule for the course. That's a possibility, I suppose. Um, but I would like to kind of... No, I suppose that is... That's definitely the simplest way, and I'm not going to faff around for too long. Uh, reach the goal without taking any damage. Nope. Parts reach the goal of defeating all two Hammer Brothers. I suppose in that case we could actually. Too far. Could just do it like that, couldn't we? Why is that not a big concentric line? Is it because there's. I think it's because that doesn't count. This bit, I always find weirdly fiddly. I want, just want scroll lock. Scroll lock? It's not going to work. It's probably because the finish is there. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. God, this is so fiddly. Oh, can't get rid of that. Of course I can't. Let's put some ground stuff there. And I'm sure you can make this look prettier. I just want to make sure that the theory works. So yeah, you go there. There's reach after defeating the Hammer Bros. Which you do by one. Maybe it should be higher up. And there you go. That works. You can probably do it way more elegantly than that. But yeah. Let's put it in the world and see how it works, eh? Need to put the blocks all the way to the top, says CJ the Beast. You don't, because it's the scroll locked worked before. I think it's because this is the end. It's It behaves differently, maybe. Because, I mean, I could just put it there, in theory. No, I couldn't. It's, um, it's a fickle thing, scroll lock. Okay, so let's just... However, I do think... It'd be good if you could create something like a... You get a power-up for it. But only after you've defeated them. So you need some sort of... Some sort of check in that sense. Hmm. There's probably a way to do it. I just want a really simple, straightforward way to do it. Hmm. That's an interesting point, actually. Someone has asked, can you bring power-ups between the stages? We'll try that out. Um, we'll try it out just with something really simple. 
What about if we were to just have a big line of power-ups? No, because then you could grab them before it was over. Well, either way, for the sake of um, just testing purposes, we'll just put a flower there. That appears. You can grab that. Go there. Pish, bash, bosh. Uh, Phoenix PSQ says, I just hide a power-up in one of the blocks. That, that works, but I, I'd like it to sort of work in the way that it does um, in the games. Let's just call it, oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, ham. We'll just call it Ham. Right, so Ham has been made. Let's go to World Maker now. Um, and change this icon to a hammer, bro. Change course to ham. Play it, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna move. You can watch the controller. Can you even see that? Yeah. So I'm just gonna move. There. Yeah, that's the wrong side. Wrong direction. It starts automatically. Ham. <laughs> so yeah, it does work. And you could probably start some, you know, music as well. And then the goal appears, you grab the power up. And now it's going to be interesting to see if I carry that power up to the next place or not. Ooh, seven. I assume that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. <laughs> bye bye, hammer bro. And then that appears. Uh, Seven has uh, donated 14 Zar. I don't know what that is. I'm going to look that up. But thank you very much. Hi, Alex. Watching since 2017. Stay lovely. I apologize for having to watch my videos from 2017. <laughs> Not as bad as my videos from 2015, though. I can't believe how long I've been doing this. But thank you very much. Thank you for sticking around. Let's find out what Zar are. Because I find currency weirdly um, exciting. Uh, South African Rand. Thank you very much. I sort of feel like I should have known that, but I didn't. Uh, play. Am I going to have my power up? It doesn't have it with my... No. That's a shame. I suppose it can break levels, can't it? So... Hmm. Yeah, it may well be that it's to prevent breaking levels, but then you'd be able to control that yourself, wouldn't you? Hmm. I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't work, um, which is a shame, but not to worry. I got a mushroom, so it's all good. But yeah, so that works. Ugh, that didn't work very well. Oh, fish. Um, exit course. So yeah. See, it does seem that the when you land on them like that, let's just double check to see whether any of these behave differently. I tell you what, I'm just going to change this icon because it seems that the enemies at the bottom here cause you to immediately go into um, immediately go into a fight. Well, into the world. I'm guessing a wet one just makes you go into the wet. Ah, and there's cheap cheeps. Uh, this one, I don't imagine. Or is it quicksand? Nah, it's just sand. This one is snow. There's snow arguing with that. Uh, this is, this is just going to be forest, isn't it? I like how they dance, though. That's pleasing. Um, let's try a spooky ghost house. Nope. Nothing special there. Nothing special there. I wonder whether it has a different animation, though, like boo boo boo. Boo boo boo. That'd be fun. Um, Ashling Healy has asked, have I ever cursed before? Oh, yes. I just don't when I'm recording, because... Professionalism. I like to pretend I have a modicum of it. So obviously that's painfully easy, but that's because I designed it and you can make it so easy. What is the clear button for? Uh, I think that's if you're just testing it out and you just want to progress further. You can press clear and it'll automatically clear the level. Hey! It does have a different animation. To the others? There's only one way to find out. Airship. You're going to see me defeat these, uh... Oh! Hammer bros a lot. Ham. Ham. 
ham. Oh dear, I've made it harder on myself. I swear hammer bros aren't as hard as they used to be. There we go. I'm always wary of people asking me to pronounce things when I don't know what they are. That's Ashling again. Always wary because I never know what people are making me say. I didn't pay attention to the animation. Quick, I'm going to watch the, the replay. Come on. It fell to the ground. How pleasing. It's um, Ghost House. Let's see what it looks like now. Life, Death, Ham. A Nintendo Life biography, says Mike TV. <laughs> Clear automatically uh, completes the level but also plays the animation. Thank you, Pixel Clear. I will bear that in mind. Thankfully, this is a very easy one. Uh, you should change the course's music to match Super Mario Bros. 3 Hammer Bros. levels. I should do, but I haven't. It's just throwing it together to see if it would work. And off goes the boom. So let's just... Um, Oh, I should have pressed clear. I'm such a... <coughs> Silly sausage that I am. Come on. I suppose it would have been clearer. Quicker for me to just select clear. Ah! Ashling. Naughty! It's appeared as it's automatically held for review. But yes! Slightly naughty thing to say. What does the forest do? Naffle. Naffle. I think we can probably say the same for the others then as well, but we'll we'll see. But Mario turns into a Luigi. That's that's nice. Nothing happens with that. Nothing. Uh, Jeremy Snyder has just asked, can you take power-ups from one area to another? You cannot. So that just does that, and I'm guessing cheap... Yeah, cheap cheap still appear and everything. Uh, that's just normal, 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 normal. And I'm guessing these just... Yeah, they just disappear like they always do. But still, um, yeah, so that's how the world works. <laughs> that's how the world works. Um, okie doke, I tell you what, let's go to Course World and play a few more worlds. Um, Eli Ebby has asked, what happens when you lose all your lives? You lose all your progress in the last level you were in. As in the level that you lost your lives in. Apart from that, nothing. Um, let's have a look. Oh, eight worlds. It's, um, hmm. Don't want too many levels to complete, too many courses, but I also don't want too few. It's tricky. Trick, trick, tricksy. Hmm. One world, five courses. Okay, let's have a go with this one. I hope it's not a load of auto levels, because that would be disappointing. <laughs> it's a pretty substantial looking little world, actually. I like this. <coughs> I've just seen a mint tea sauce, a super Kaizo world. Yep. People are going to do it. Oh. Ooh, little game. Come on, over here, come. Eh. I do like little mini games like this. I think they're very well designed. Often, not always. And I got me the key. Ah, was the key always in the piranha plant? But because that's the hardest one to get. Hey, hey! Through we 
we go. Splendid. I'm playing Pong, aren't I? I'm playing Blooming Pong. Oh, come on. Come on! Yeah, there we go. Actually, take out a pal. That's good. Yes! Hey, hey! Key time. Through we go. Hmm. Oh, someone said there's a frog suit. Yes, there is. Got lost in my own little world for a second there. Ooh. Come on, I need more. Kapow! Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, nice one, Alex, said Alex. And his ego remained the same. <laughs> I do like that the cat's batting them away, though. Very kind of the cat. Damn. Oh, it's in a block, isn't it? You toe rag. Oh, come on! Oh, it's going to be the same as before. Come on. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be that one, isn't it? Come on. Come on. Bit higher. Ah. This this is a tiny bit tedious. Just a bit long. Fun idea, but It's just a little bit, uh... I haven't, like, destroyed the key by accident, have I? There it is! Poiski, poiski! Good lord. Another Yoshi, and... Oh, it's the same stuff again. I think it'd be better if you could have... If you could get the things more quickly. Maybe. Come on. Just the one. Come on. Give me another one. Is that going to be? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah! No, missed it. Needs to be much higher than that, Alex. Come on. There we go. That should. Yes! Oh, oh Hugh Janus! <laughs> I actually said that out loud. Has donated a dollar. Thank you very much, Hugh Janus. It's actually quite fortunate that I pronounced that slightly differently, isn't it? I guess it's just going to be a case of, yep. I always half expect Yoshi to be able to lick upwards in Mario games, but he can't. He can only do that in Yoshi games, and that's too high. 
Come on. Hey, and that's that's the end of that chapter. And through I go, as I see all the rolly spiky balls. Splendid. And thanks. You're welcome. A little bit long. A little bit long, but apart from that, hmm. Aiden Tate said, I have this game and forgot about the update. It only came out today. I think you can be forgiven for that. Ah. Um, I tell you what. One more level. And I'm afraid I'm going to have to call it a day. I've been streaming for over four hours now. So I don't think that's unreasonable. It'll be interesting to see what this level is. Over those strange texture. What was it called? This level, um, Sanbo Gabon Desert. I don't know what that means. <laughs> there we go nice and easy. This isn't too, isn't too bad at all. Boing! <laughs> Gonzalo, sure you in the chat, has said, uh, can can the flash outrun the blue, the blue falcon? Nope. <laughs> but can the monorail outrun? <laughs> can the monorail outrun the flash? Can Superman outrun the flash? All important questions. Got me some coinage. And I'm going to take the helmet, thank you, because I've already got loads, and I mean loads of power-ups. So, to the point that I can just... Ah! Okay, you got me. Come on, angry son. Oh. I think the Karibo shoe can defeat it, can't it? I'm going to look like a ninny if it doesn't. Then the Karibo shoe is invulnerable underneath, so it wouldn't kill me. I just wouldn't take any damage. Maybe. Oh. And I'm protected on the head front as well. Err. Uh. A lot of fireworks. A lot of fireworks. A lot of fireworks. Oh! I'm tired, actually. Uh, Wesley Ackerman says, uh, well, asks, Alex, can the Flash outrun you? No. I'm faster than... Well, I'm not fictional, so yes. <laughs> can Super run around the Flash? Of course not, the Flash is faster than him. Oh, egg scythe. Simpsons. That's all I'm about. Simpsons, innit? Get me one of these boys and one of these boys. So I can... It's not Super Mario 3D World style, Alex. Come on. You need to do this. Wabow! It's telling me to go in here. I can't help but feel that maybe that's... um. Ow! Ow! That was unpleasant! How rude. I'm guessing I wasn't supposed to... What's <laughs> up I think I was supposed to use the, uh, the galoomb. Let's use the galoomb. That's kind of fun. I like that. It's quite a clever little mini game. Simple, but effective. Always my favourite thing to do is spin around really fast. Ah! Ooh, that's a fair point. And I want that coin. Ay, ay, ay. 
And I want another bonus, please. I want an invulnerability star, if at all possible. It's not, so I'll, I'll have one of these. Hey, hey, spiky hat boy, that's me. I also realised, uh, like, not this level, but the level before I said that was the last level and I'm clearly doing another level. That's me! Inconsistent. <laughs> oh, well that was silly, wasn't it, Alex? Hey, gotcha. Easy peasy. Time for another little bonus round! <laughs> He's going for it! Because he has the, uh, the world record in Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. I will- I did not want the Fire Flower then. I also really wanted a Yoshi, but apparently that. Oh dear. Uh, whoa! Watch out. There's a big thing about. Oh, it's 50 coins, I want it. Gotcha! Ha <laughs> ha! I can take you on, Mr. Thwomp. Ah! And you. Checkpoint. Ay, 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 ay. And again, once again, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Ow! I want those 30 coins. I got those 30 coins. Marvellous! Come on. I should really have let another per another mole go somewhere so I could have got to. Ah, doesn't matter. I got me to the ending. Oh, lordy, lordy. Lots of fireworks. Ah. Well, I'm very sleepy now. <laughs> Far sleepier than I thought, but um, thank you everyone for coming along. Uh, I am going to end the stream here. It's been tremendous fun. And um, thank you all so much for watching. Depending on the financial viability of these, hopefully I'll be doing more of these in the future when the opportunity arises and stuff like this on days when perhaps there's nothing else going on, you know, or there's, as I say, content like this that is more sensible. You know, more suited to a stream, rather. So, um, thank you once again, and thank you so much for watching. If you like this stream, then why don't you, um, head over to nintendolife.com or tweet us. Tweet us and let us know how much you enjoyed the stream so my bosses can see it and give me, you know, lots of wonderful kudos more. And be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye!